What's good, y'all? I go by the name of Damo, never been a lame mo. I need a haircut, yo. <laughs> I go by King Lamar, <laughs> aka Tell Your Girl to Get Out of My Car, and I stay pretty groomed up, tell me. Yo, this is Jay Willard, the podcast killer. I hate both of these <laughs> niggas. But yo, aka Podcast Poppy, aka the Pop Father, and this right chair right, yeah. is Willow Wednesdays, man. Y'all about to get some ghetto ass news mm. from your relationship ass gurus. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> bullet, bullet. Wait, really quick, before we even start, did you just growl? <laughs> if you're watching this, you know who I'm growling at. Did you just really do that in a microphone? <laughs> wow. Yo, yo, you remember... Uh, did, did a microphone ask for that? <laughs> <laughs> this is one seductive-ass microphone. Clearly. Uh, you remember um, Buddy who, who was growling in New York when he made like a whole thing? Yes, the big thing? nigga, yeah. Uh, the, yeah. How you do it? I don't know. He look like you, just like you, you a skinny wow. version, but how you do it? <laughs> I look like the nigga who growled. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro. Yo, how weird. was your week? A little weird. A <laughs> little weird. How was your week, man? What's going on? Uh, Talk to me. Man, you know you always start. Go, go first. He always try to start and then nah, he make do, he me. Do, he, he be like, yeah. "Well, oh, nah, go nah, ahead." I'm gonna show. Um, shout out to the Rock. We are back uh, representing your uh, alcohol, Terramana. Yo, you love to give some free ass promo, bro. Actually, it's gonna work out. He ain't cut the check, but you will cut the check, Mr. Dwayne Johnson. Thank you very much. All right, all right, go right ahead, buddy. Well, we out here rapping blue cups and shit. No, I'm joking. Um. No, nah, uh, oh, I found a fucking apartment. Hey, <laughs> shit. my man's yeah. not homeless no more. Nah, man. Uh, yeah. Who got a crib? You got a crib. <laughs> who got a crib? Hey, you got a crib. Where yeah, you man. going tonight to your crib? Yeah, huh? yeah. Okay, that's so, what's up, man. Yo, shit, just, I, I, I like I like progression. I like big things, bro. Thank you. Pause. That's just why I'm Pause. tired. Hey, yo. Wow. wow. You like big things? That was wicked. What's wrong yo, with wait, big things? wait, we're going to just cut that no, off. No, we're not. You like big things. You like big things. We are not good at it. How big you like them, Jay? Uh, I'm just. Is it like a consistent amount of big things, or yeah. you like to like fluctuate, like like, like yeah. really big? Like I'm saying, give me a level of big. <laughs> I'm let, I'm when did let, you? I'm gonna let y'all burn this joke out. So I can't wait. wait. No, no, like, we ain't done. Go ahead. Go ahead. When did you realize you like big things? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What you got? <laughs> I'm gonna wait and bring it back. Okay. okay <laughs> he wait. like big things, and you just can't lie. <laughs> Oh, come on. It's good. No, don't, go don't, ahead. Yes, don't yes, let him yes, do it. Yes, yes, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to let y'all go ahead. Go ahead. No, nope. I'm mm-hmm. waiting for the right moment. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. How was y'all week? So, I'm anyway, itching. no, but, bro, listen, um, I moved by myself because I chose to, mm-hmm. right? He's <laughs> like, an independent black woman, man. Yeah, that's a <laughs> shit, shit, nigga. <laughs> I felt just like that, man. <laughs> I don't need no man for I nothing. I do bad all by myself. I definitely did bad. Yo, okay, all right, by right, right, myself. I'm, I'm going inter- to interrupt your week by saying something that bothers me <laughs> that is plaguing the black community. Oof. Not the whole community. No, no, the whole community. Because okay. he just exhibited this terrible behavior. I don't yeah, know where the fuck we learned this from. Yo, if somebody is asking if you need help yes. in a situation... Why do we have so much pride as a community that we can't say, you know what, I actually do need some help. Would you mind helping me, and, but helping me this way? Why, why do we automatically feel like you're supposed to just deny it? All right. Uh, oof, it's, that's, you want to get... That's real, you Bro, wanna, yo, we hit a pod. Let's, let's talk about it. Like, cause that, cause get he, get yo, real he, deep real early, y'all. No, that nigga just pissed me Usually the fuck off. Usually we have about 10 minutes of jokes, but you know what I'm saying? No, because that shit blew my mind, Professor... <laughs> Bro, I mean, you got to understand, it's... I'm asking what help do you need? I'm here to help. Use me. I can help you. Nah, I'm straight. I'm straight, my nigga. I'm good. I'm good. I got it. You always want to... We've always been taught to always... Especially as a man. You've always been taught to always seem okay. Right? Um, the, The need to... Need anything outside of whatever you already have seems weak in the back of the mind when in reality it's not because you can't like think about it it's a it goes right back to everyone um always feel like they 
I have to have a get it from the bottom type of story or I did it all by myself type of story. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, yo, I got it out the mud. Like, why do we always feel like we need to get out the mud? Why can't like, we attribute our success or what we got going on to someone assisting us, to someone helping us, to our parents helping us? It's always that mentality because we feel like that is the best story. Is, is that how you felt when I asked you if you needed help moving your, your, your apartment? That nigga no. don't need help with nothing. No, I just miscalculated. When I told you, I ain't got that much stuff. Right in the middle of that shit, I was like... I got a lot of stuff. No, but my phone. But works. I just didn't know. We we, we speak on the Ooh, phone. I have quite another often. question. And I, I and I was, but you know how like you already, I'm 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 in the thick of it. You know what I'm saying? Into the thick of it. <laughs> right. Into the thick of it. Right. So that's what that happened, and I looked, and I was like, Do I, I just keep on going? Man. So let your question. your question. So when you realize, right? And, and this is a, I think this is a bigger problem than. Assuming that you know you don't need anybody. Yeah, because that's that's not what it was, bro. No, I, I needed I need hold, help. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> like, now, now you realize it. Yeah. But when you realize that, okay, at first you thought, boom, nah, I don't need any help. I didn't you think, I did. think that you do need help, but you're like, nah, I can handle it. I'm a yeah. man. Yeah. I got this. Well, not even when that. You just realize, you're supposed to growl right when you there. That's the perfect <laughs> time to growl. That nah, all my growls been real like kitty. Like, <laughs> okay, it's been real you, like okay. premature. So wow. I don't got no big gangster growls. Heard it. You when little you, Simba. When you realize that, okay, I'm fucking up. I can't do this by myself. Mm -hmm. Why don't you correct? Why didn't you like say, "Yo, let me correct that and actually seek help"? Well, one, like, continue it to was drown and break it back because you know you're old. Two thirty, three o'clock in the morning. So at that point, it's like, well, shit, I just set myself up now. So fuck it, I got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, other reason is you can complete tasks. You just gotta plan a little better. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, so it's more than I thought. So let me just take a second and say, so how can I do this? Versus no, 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 no. I, I, Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I get it. I, I get it. That's what she said. As the immaturity reigns in. <laughs> no, I, I get it. I was I, like, I damn. Get, I get misassessing a task. I did. I swear to God. I get that, but. It was only two heavy boxes, though. But the reason why <laughs> I'm. People watching us like, why well, y'all dragging it? No, but the reason why I'm coming at you this way is because you have, you're a repeat offender of this. What? Yeah, it's like, no, but bro, like. I, I'm, how many times do I have to say, bro, we got you. There's a support system. You have a group of friends that I don't with believe you, you got. I'm, no, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> saying. It's like, bro, this I mean, is not, you're, you're a repeat offender. Of yeah, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm sorry that we got to talk about now. it in front of the world here, but it's like, my nigga, come I'm, on. Bro. I'm you better know. now. People at That's home. It's frustrating. Because if I, if, I if I keep offering you assistance and you're just – bashing my assistance or knocking it down, but then you're telling me how much assistance you needed, I'm going to start looking oh, at you crazy. Oh, nah, I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Because it is, here's the thing, like, like people don't really always, ooh, or shit, what? does he You didn't say the first one. I'm about to tell you, this is what made my point. Do you like your struggle? Do you, like, enjoy the struggle? No, it was more? just a misassessment. I'm not, nah, nah. All right, we're not talking, right, not this time. More, well, yeah. not you. Now I do understand talk, what you're saying. You are the example for the world. No, so I do understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, like, you're the example for the world. Oh, okay. not, so I'm, I'm like, talking, I'm talking I, I like to, to be you. sore, nigga, no. Gotta, I'm talking gotta, to you, but I'm, I'm talking through <laughs> but you. But that's how I felt. To the world. But <laughs> it's how I was bearing that box. Some people, um. I like all these words today. Some people like. Can we get this out? We got to make, this got to be a clipable moment. So the Wednesdays, man. <laughs> Some people actually like saying, like, if they do complete it and they took forever, yeah, I did it all by myself. I, I put, I carried 335 boxes all up and down the steps. Yeah. It took me seven hours. My, I, I didn't need no help. I did it by myself. Right. It's way more pride in saying that. It took you seven hours to carry 35 boxes instead of asking 10 people. And everybody grab a box and take done in three trips. Minutes, yeah, 20 minutes. done in 10 minutes. Bro, yeah. I, I watched the whole college basketball championship game. I was comfortable. That's cool. You missed it because nah. you was moving fucking boxes by yourself. I, th I thought I had it. That's what I'm trying to like. I, All I, right, like so look. I, so I, I, I don't want to bash you or drag it or whatever, but I, I just wanted to address that because that's a problem within our community. It is a problem. We don't. What I went through was like not, was not that reason. problem. I literally was like, oh, I can do this. Yeah. And then. After them two that boxes, shit slapped the fuck out. I was like, "Wow!" No, All right, so on a bigger, okay. on a bigger scale, if you, I will need everyone at home assess your support group, assess your team, assess the people that you have around you, 
and how can those people affect change in your life currently on a consistent basis? Facts. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense to have a team. doesn't make sense to have a support group. Yeah. And not... If they ain't supporting. Like, yeah, make yeah. them support, not you put them to use. You feel right. me? You just got... Niggas. niggas. Niggas around. That's what I'm saying. You just got, <laughs> you just got niggas, niggas around. Niggas. Niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't have a team. You don't have a support. So It's like you ever Put, been on the block and you see that one old head that's fixing the car and then the eight niggas that's around them watching, watching him, watching him, fix, him the car. fix the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. just drunk as shit. And he he has an audience. He yes. don't have a team. He needs a TV me? show. He needs a TV show. And that nigga name was Earl. I don't know why it is, but it is. It's always a nigga named Earl. That's facts. Yo, but how was your week, man? We, we, um, we, so we boom, done, my man. week. Um, I I needed help with something. I called somebody. They came and we did it. Boom. Uh, Look at that. <laughs> Ain't God good. Ooh, sheesh, <laughs> petty. Um, nah. Let me see what I do this week. <laughs> nah, how was your week, Cuz? Uh, bro. So my I feel like my week was pretty good. Like when I think about it, I don't really. Nothing's po- oh. Uh oh. Oh, man, I don't even know if I can talk about this. Oh, shit. Fuck it, they don't watch my... Yo, so... um, So, so one of these days, somebody has slipped me something mm. that I thought was candy. Oh, mm. shit. And it really wasn't candy. What the fuck was it? What was it? It was, it was, it was a hallucinogen. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Smell hallucinogen. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> was it an edible? I, b- I believe so. It wasn't like acid or some shit, I right? It like was it wasn't can- LSD. I, like no, no, no. It was edible. Yeah, yeah no. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. About to say nah, it, it was a, it was a, it was a hood black person drug. It's gotcha. Not- oh, shit. Cool. So you was on an hood edible. 2003 black person <laughs> drug. <And> I, <laughs> he was into the thick of it. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was up there. You feel know I me? Mean? What did uh, how did how that feel? Did you enjoy? Yo, it? Yo, bro, it would have been very lit if I wasn't in the environment that I was in. Mm-hmm. Or oh, you was in I church. Can't, I can't tell you the environment. <laughs> Just in case someone's watching this, church. Gotcha. I could, you know, <laughs> lose something important to me. Mm. You was in the doctor's office? <laughs> Terrible. Uh, so, boom. So, oh, wow. That's so look, place. I got lit in a bad in- environment by accident. You know what I'm saying? And mm. it was just real. <laughs> Sorry, man, I, don't smoke, <laughs> I don't smoke. I don't smoke. <laughs> I smoke twice a year, right? Um... Why? I don't know why. I suppose twice a year, but I took... Do you plan that? Like, is this, that a, Yeah, no, I plan it. If I, I mean, if I, got rules. Nah, right. dead ass. Twice a year. Dead ass. I already smoked once for so far for the year, so I got one more, and then tell everybody no. Uh, but yeah, either way, I, like I got that. Liddy. You know what I'm saying? I was... I don't fuck with edibles, bro. I don't either, dog. Edibles is different. <sighs> you don't, don't like you don't, You can't control it. They control you. Don't you don't know the power. You don't they know the power. You. And you don't know when it hit. You don't At know all. the power. You can, you can sit there for 45 minutes. That shit like, kicked in in 20 straight. minutes. You see what I'm saying? But it, it tastes so good. It was like a, like a gummy. Nah, I mean, but bro, nah, candy nah, is candy. But I, I don't fuck with edibles, bro. Nah, Them shits is dangerous. <laughs> Bro. Fuck it, if I sound soft, I don't care. No, 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 no. you are is, not. This is different. I slept in my car I rather for smoke. five hours. I'd rather and, smoke. Bro, at least when you smoke, you can control your you can, intake. You can be like, that's it. I'm good. <laughs> I'm you can good. control your intake. Mm-hmm. On an edible, you just I'm I'm at the mercy up. of the nigga that was pouring that's that's three it. days ago. That's Whoever it. Whoever made it. That's it. Bro, edibles. And yo, for bro. some reason, his name is Jonathan. I don't know. We got Earl and Jonathan. What's up with you today? So check out, Why are you naming everybody? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. So there was one time. Jonathan fucked you yo, up, didn't My, my <laughs> first uh, edible story, right? We call him J.O. I was yes. 21. Damn. Um, hey, shout out to my cousin. I was 21 in Panama City Beach, right? And we took an edible. And I never took an edible before, right? Niggas told me, yo, bro, you only going to want to take a half of a half. Of or, course. Or, or just take a half. Of course, you went for the and, whole thing. And this was brownies. Mm. And I didn't eat that day. Oh, we that, didn't eat yet. We was in, we was in was vacation. Yeah. Really rocking you, in you, your system. Nigga, I baby. took two and a half. You had two and a half. You brownies? had two and a half. I know I had at least I had at least at least one and a half. I'm gonna just say this two. Was eating for the taste. No, he's one of them niggas. And then I had one and a oh, half. T- I could take listen, how many? I'm gonna take. Listen, four. I had one and a half two. I had niggas who, like they was about to eat their joint. They probably broke in a half. And I was like, I take your shit. <laughs> had that, bro. And then at the same it time, just the first time we was all drinking. He was drinking. Oh, bro, Wildlings. Right. 21. Right. Bro, when I tell you I slept that night, I slept that day, and I slept almost half the next night. Still high. They thought I was dead. Bro, you ever woke up high? I was it. Damn it, I wanted to say it. <laughs> now, I was up. Gucci when I woke no, up. No, 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 no. no. Nah, not, not waking up high. Waking up still high. Still high. That shit fucks with you. Bro, you, you like, remember? Okay, yo, bro. shout out to Taz. You know the lifted T. Yeah, the, the, yo, lifted T. Bro. my life up. You drink I, niggas miss work the next Taz day. Taz would tell you, don't drink the whole bottle. But and we like this shit fire. 
Here this shit fire. This tastes amazing. Go ahead. You mm-hmm. go to sleep on Wednesday, you wake up on Friday. So we just want to let y'all know, for the you out there who are... Um, edible chemist, I need y'all to relax. All right, calm that shit now. Yo, you are I'm, ruining and I'm gonna say this exciting. low key. This this is low key a great segue. Yeah. Um, they they officially passed like through through the Senate. They passed it the um the 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 legalization of marijuana, but it's the distribution. Okay. It's the growers. It's the sellers. It's everybody. Everybody is clear now. So wait, all weed is legal. All weed. In the is whole, legal. whole nation? The United States of America. They passed it through Senate. Oh, how many? That. Wait, so wait, now, so wait now oh, we got to get the house. How many pounds? How many pounds? I don't, I don't know the rules. But you got to get the, you gotta get but the what, house. What happens is, no, you have to get. Um, how many houses? You, you have to be. Uh, it's a, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what happens now. And you know there's always red tape. Right. So now you have to have the specific license that you only can uh, get from the state. I got you. Okay. So if you get that license specifically from the state, you can do whatever. Grow, sell, smoke, give. Wait, you need a license to smoke it? Well, no, I think that was just the manufacturing part of it. Okay, okay, okay. Which, which but probably yeah. the business so, part. So, so the business side so of it. It's like a cigarette. Pretty much. Yeah, you but it's, it's, it's a go. Because you, like, you can't just sell, like, it's illegal to sell cigarettes. That's why they be hemming up the, the Lucy. Yeah, because they, mm-hmm. Uncle Sam need his bread. Yeah, so. Got tax so, it, so basically, weed is equal to cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. Well, through the Senate. Through the Senate. That's only Yo, one house. So, I can't so the house gotta, for them you know to be mean? selling, like, you know how they, they sell pre roll. Pre, I want, like mm-hmm. they sell pre-roll at the corner store. Pre-roll's my shit because I'm too, I'm lazy. I can't roll for shit. Bro, I remember bro, a girl, a shorty asked me to pull up. Like, all right, so boom, we was talking on the, we was talking on the phone, and she said she smoked. At this point, I haven't smoked yet for the year. You only got that too. Got, right? got that too, baby. Right? I didn't smoke yet for the year. I was like, I got two. I, you right. know, this is my first time smoking. You should be honored. So shorty invited me to come up. She said, you know how to roll. And I haven't rolled since I was 13, half my life ago. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, you're Jamaican, never mind. You're Jamaican. So, Jamaican niggas sense. do that. So, Shorty asked me. So, wait, you only smoked two a year because you started at 13? Yeah. 12. So, you so you already smoked mad weed, so you just like, I'm over it. So, 12, 13, and 14 was, was big weed vibes. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's really oh, but you was a junior pothead. I never knew that. Wow. You see what a podcast could do? I never knew that. I just learned that too. I didn't know that. Okay. All right. Twelve. So summer of, summer of Lamar at thirteen, very wild. Oh, that's eighth grade summer. Eighth grade. That's summer. That's one of my favorite summers. You was getting high in the eighth grade. I, no, no, eighth grade summer some, different. Summer school when I like when I graduated. Eighth grade summer oh, okay. different because you graduate. Yeah, eighth grade graduated summer almost then. First time in summer school. Yeah. Summer, grade, yeah. Summer. That summer. That summer. I, ne- I never did summer school. Wild summer. Wild. Wild. Like summer. yo, when I tell you, I yo, if you think that your eighth graders is not out there wilding. Yeah. Listen, on the sh- we're in 2022. Listen, they are your, your third graders are wild. Your third, yeah. your eighth grader got. I was fans. in fifth grade. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not lying. Like, shit, listen, she just lied about her age. He's not lying. She's like, you ser- listen, okay. nigga, we all lied about our age. When when the internet first started, it was like, oh, you got to be eighteen. Yeah, you got to be eighteen. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> nigga, I've been eighteen since I was twelve. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah, like, that's I'm, true. I'm a veteran at eighteen, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I've been here even when I was eighteen. I'm a veteran. When I was 22, I was still 18. I know you don't know about this. Did you did you did you do party lines? Yeah, I did party lines. You did party? No. Wait, 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 wait. He don't know why it either. No, party lines is like the 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 I had aim chats. So that's where you started. Aim group chats, yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. That's why I know you ain't do I know I know bro, I know you ain't do them damn But you was born in nineteen oh two. Word. Like was party lines a part of the internet? No, nigga. It was it was before. It was before then. That Pretty much everybody would call in. Everybody would call everybody in. Everybody call in. Oh, so, oh wait, hey, y'all did ass? Yes. yes. It was, it was oh, a, my God. It's like a group text. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's, it's a group text, but with a, voice. I'm trying to make a funny joke, and this is dead serious. All right. It's a group so, voice text. Yeah, you know how it's the same. Um, everybody had Nigga, matter bubbles. of fact, fucking Clubhouse and the, the Twitter spaces now is yeah. what the party line used to be. Yeah, so mad niggas just in there. Mind you, this is before the internet, fam. You call in and there's people in the room on their mama house phone. Everybody 13, 14, talking shit, talking about yeah. the 18, 19. I had aim chat, bro. Yeah, no, no, but it's before. So I'm older than you. Yeah, you're a lot, a lot, um, a lot. Ain't that much relaxed. But <laughs> what I'm trying to make is. Not in like, not like the years of the history of the world, but. Hey. But that's what we did, and um, and then I eventually aim chat, Yahoo chat, and yeah. all that shit. Of course, yeah. But nah, before Listen, what? Aim chat was lit on my sidekick. Yeah. I don't know what you talking yeah, about. Sidekick. All right, all right. So another little, 
Another little uh, segue. Fit. Um, you with these four, fucking strolling down memory lane. Fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> me and one of my partners made a killing with sidekicks. And, Bro, everybody and, did. No, nah, nah, so how how was what was your what was your joke? Bro, T Mobile used to suck with the insurance. So you say you yeah. lost the phone. Mm-hmm. You, somebody would give you what it would cost for the phone or a little bit more if you wanted to make profit and then oh, true. your phone never was turned off and everybody had a free phone. I gave half the hood a phone. All right. So yes and no. So mm-hmm. yes, but I do remember what that we would do that shit was great. Yes it was. So so niggas would like that's what made them figure out the insurance was policies getting, now. Psychics <laughs> was getting stolen every day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People were stealing psychics nonstop. Right. Right? Changing out the case and then it's a different psychic. Facts. Mm-hmm. And T Mobile w- was giving you uh, SIM cards at that time. Yeah. So they'll sell you SIM cards, and what we would do was. That was free. We would. I don't remember. I don't SIM cards was free. Sold it. Oh, yeah. We would hack the SIM card for internet. So we'll hack the SIM card for internet. Oh, wow. And you will be able to jump on your Facebook and your AOL Messenger. So that's a lot and smarter. And then people just was able well, to that's have. That's more technical. Yeah, but you know, if yeah, each but, generation comes, yeah, it's a new but, shit. You yeah. know some more new shit with but technology. I mean, it, that's it, wild. It, I didn't it, have no it idea. Took, what twenty minutes to hack it? Uh, mm. uh, Ten minutes to hack it? But literally, imagine have, that's crazy. You know, jux it. Yeah. Change out the case. You resell it. Right. One fifty two hundred. Mm. Done. We made thousands at fifteen. Mm. That's crazy. Niggas was hood thousands. We, and we you made, was high as hell. Fast. Imagine two years. Two years old. <laughs> I, stopped, I, smoked, I stopped smoking at the time. But look. look Y'all ain't asked me about my week, but my week was lit. I'm, I'm just going to interrupt it. I'm going to jump in there, and then we're going to get going with these topics. Um, I do want to say one thing. Oh, you was blowing your cup. Heard you. Got you. <laughs> Into the that, thick of it. That's what you just did on yeah, camera. It's, it's not that big. Like, yeah, yeah your preferences. Heard it. Um, what I w- How big specifically? I would like to say something. I would just, can is we it, just, is can it we? Cup, can is we, it cup big? Can we refrain from being disrespectful for just a couple seconds while That's I say this? I don't know. It's according to what you asked. You. I'm not going to ask anything. Is this Jada Pinkett anything not, about her? No, I'm, I'm, two not, hands one hand. I'm not going to ask well, anything. I'm is going, it thick of it? I'm going to wish my mom a happy birthday. Uh, Can I do that? Trying to trick us. Okay. Happy birthday to my right, mom. Happy birthday, mom. Of course. Jesus. I'm sorry. Mama Willa. Nah, was Mama the, Willa. The reason why greatness is here on this couch oh, is because of you, and I want to thank you. <laughs> And wish you a happy birthday. Puppy. Yes. All right. Thank you. That's, all, that's, that's what I wanted thing. to say. Happy birthday, Mama Willa. We appreciate you. It's a beautiful thing. Really awesome. I mean, now back to this bullshit we talking about. Sorry, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right, man. <laughs> Sorry, Ma. Love you. But now, nah, yeah. do you know how old your mom is? Yeah. Is your mom watch the show? My mom does watch the show. Yo, well, my she mom... gives wild critiques. Yo, what's up with them? Wild <laughs> critiques. Yo, my mom feels like yo, yo, bro. My mom is mad. Anu- yo, bro. My mom was like. On the need for um, piss up music in between. Oh, no, no. <laughs> My mom was talking bad shit. Ooh, she was, at one point, she was talking trash about you. Mm-hmm. And then you. Listen, I, every, and then, every, and then everybody me. curses me out. Whoever watches this show, they, they curse me out. My mom was like, you're good, man. You're good. The, man, the guy upon the left in the glasses, he's kind of boring. <laughs> and, but, <laughs> and then she was like, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> And then one time I think I was, I was, she she said, "What's this? You're so stupid. This doesn't make sense." This, Listen, I'm like, "Yo, ma, you are 60. Wow. Put the phone down." Oh yeah, I'm my I oldest brother it. is 42. All right, cool. Here we go. We we good. We everybody got their week off. We straight. Nah, yeah. Because the Oscars happen, right? Let's talk about and it. And then the Grammys happen. Let's talk about it. A week it. apart. That's true. So the Grammys happen. You want to talk about the Shout out to my Grammys? guy Trevor Noah. I just want to. Yes, I was gonna say. Do you think Will fucked up? The Oscars? No. The Grammys. Of course, of course, of course. Damn it, he fucked up the Oscars. My bad, I said it wrong. You know what I'm trying to say. Do you think that Will fucked up the Grammys? He he affected. Let's not say fucked up. Yeah. He affected. I I think they was on high alert. I think they was on some, yo, this shit not about to happen on on this broadcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I I feel like they was like, they went above and beyond to make sure that, you know, shit ran (laughs) copacetic. No, but they really did, though. And then, like, and then, you know, everybody was seeing who was going to make a joke. Yeah. And obviously, Trevor's the host. Trevor's mm-hmm. very good. So his joke was like, pop, boom, let's move. It was good. But, but he is like, like I've been a real deep fan of Trevor Noah for the past. How deep? How deep is your love for me? <laughs> <laughs> as, as deep as big as. As deep as big as. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Um, 
We're going to get this joke no, off. It's very bad. Y'all, y'all nope. are literally burning it. Go, keep going. Keep going. I, I love this for y'all. I'm too good it's on this. fire. I, I love this for y'all. <laughs> yeah, I know you love it for you, too. He's going to keep killing it. Go ahead. Yeah, you was killing Don't it oversell too. it, though. We're going to get it. Mm-hmm. When it happens, it's going to be like, boom. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> You see what's happening here, people. Yep, I'm gonna allow it to happen too. Yep. I was, no, I'm a douche. That's why I'm gonna make it happen. Um, all right, guys. My whole goal tonight, period. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, back to regular schedule programming. Um, I've been a real big fan of Trevor Noah. Mm-hmm. Uh, from watching his stand-ups, watching The Daily Show, right. And you know, of course, you get the funny aspect and the. He's like very well. I don't want to say well spoken because he got like an English accent or a South African accent. Mm-hmm. He's just he he how he puts together Speaks his so words well. is very good, but where he really shines, bro, is when he's having he's he's giving an interview or being interviewed, and you really see the intellect in his his response. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. 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 That's his where his like, interviews yo, are great. I was like, God damn, run for president, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like you are Nelson and well, no, 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 but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I would. I would. I would rather him in those rooms than the than the orange guy. I don't know. The orange guy's coming back. Right, well, how you feel about the dead guy? All right. So, yeah, dead guy. And then now, bro, do you hear him talk? This nigga, bro. He's like, I don't. I'm, I'm still alive. That's it. He's bad. He's pretty bad. He's I bad. I don't know what he's talking about. Biden being decrepit. That nigga's 97,000 years He's old. He's the crib keeper, like, bro. Like, Dame is old, but this nigga Biden is... Nah, Biden older than me, old. for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's old, bro. Yeah, there's not a old joke in the world that'll make me old no, as because, Biden. No, no, but... I just want to point that out. Biden is really bad, bro. No, he's, he's fucking, bad. Fucking, we're here. We, I'm we're sorry. Here. We're going this back nigga, to the Grammys. This nigga is old. But he's old, old. It's not like, about age, like... No, but, like, he's older than Bernie Sanders. And remember, we was making jokes about Bernie older Sanders. Than Bernie Sanders? No, but I'm talking about no, but mint, literally like the, the nigga. He's like, eh, you want to know what's crazy? Like, I be feeling bad. Like, I feel back pain when he talks. Mm-hmm. Like it hurts. I be so, feeling like why y'all, why y'all let that old man get out there and say that? So you want to know what you want to know what I realized <laughs> like, though? He can't walk properly. Here's, we gotta talk about that. Here's what kills me, y'all. So check it. When I speak or see people in their seventies mm-hmm. in public. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh man, you're old, or you're very seasoned, or you are retired. You're past your prime. Now you're just in relaxed years. Yeah, right. You're not necessarily at a point of peak efficiency when it comes to work. No but disrespect. To no, it's not people, any. But I say it all the time. You, you don't want anything that's seventy years old, like a chair, seventy, a car, seventy. What you know the I'm saying? It, it has mad miles and usage on it. Whatever it is. But it, what, and, whatever it, and it is, it's just and it's and <laughs> when it comes to people, it's really old ideologies. Of course. And what I realized was the past two elections mm-hmm. have been people seventy plus getting the most looks right for presidency, and I'm like, and that's why this country is. Fu- Actually, no, I'm glad. Let's get these old niggas up the fuck out of here. Now, what like, you mean, bro? Time gonna get them out. Somebody sixty six. Sitting back, waiting until the bro, next three years. Listen, listen. I, 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 I say this with confidence, right? I say when this we with, gonna have another Obama. I, I say this with confidence, right? Um, that was a fluke. slavery, right? Let, let, let's let's. Uh, this is crazy because we started with the Grammys, right? Yo, but this conversation is all over the place. We're here. We're here. I love now. it. Fuck it. Let's talk about let's it. Be slavery. On the, we're on the ride. Slavery. <laughs> slavery wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Right. Great. Gra- uh, grandparents. Yeah. Were involved with that. Your grandparents, grandparents. Well, okay, not slavery. Sorry, segregation. Oh wow. Okay, that that changed. That changes it, right? So now we're talking about that's your grandparents. 50s, 60s, 70s. That's your grandparents. If they're in America, then your grandparents. Right. That generation is getting the fuck up out of here. <laughs> Let's keep it a buck. Not true. Sure. They they're getting the fuck up out of here. It's the changing of the guard. This country is going to look completely different in forty years. Because all these new niggas, white women love black niggas. All the Asian people love black people. Puerto Everybody Ricans loves are black. black people. Everybody in black. We swirling like a motherfucker. In 40 and 50 years, the, 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 the makeup of this country is going to be completely different. So let the old guard 
listen, this is the last time that we gonna have a nigga who was a fucking crypt keeper running as president. This nigga is ninety seven thousand years old, bro. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I hate, he like, walks up the steps to the plane, and I'd be like, oh no. Remember the they, time he tripped? Did you yes. see the trip? Uh-huh. Like, like, why are they doing this to I, this man? I, I just don't understand why. But like, he got elected because we it's either him or the orange nigga. And we like, yo, we, anybody but that guy. In the in the I think we would definitely be in a war with Russia full blown right now if the orange guy was in power. No, we wouldn't. They no, were we best wouldn't. friends. No, nah, we wouldn't. We'll be helping bomb. Yes. <laughs> we'll be we, on Russia's side. <laughs> we'll be on Russia's side, <laughs> like, bro. Fuck Ukraine. Like we be wilding. Yeah. Like, we, Tell me. The Ukrainians that nigga, must go. Yo, him and Putin. <laughs> straight bro, let's get back to the Grammys, bro. Right, so, is actually so, ugly. Let's get back to the Grammys, bro. So segue about everybody loving black people. Mm-hmm. Uh speaking of the Grammys. Yes. Mad black people won this time. And mm-hmm. um You think that's by design? That was well. I want to say yes, and I want to say no. Um, I don't, well, no, you know, fuck the no. I'm going to say yeah, mm-hmm. because we've been on that. Mm-hmm. We've been knowing that it's been a fight for black people to win awards for years. We know that. That's mm-hmm. the thing, right? So we already went through the shit with the Oscars. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Will Smith fucked all that up, but let's say Will Smith didn't slack Chris Rock. That would have been the blackest Oscars ever. I still don't think he fucked it up, but keep going. Well, but I hate that take. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. But same thing now. And I'm, and everyone's glad that he wasn't at the Grammys, by the way. Like, mm-hmm. Everyone's like, please, Will, no. Mm-hmm. But why would he be there? <laughs> to smack Chris Rock, nigga. I don't know. That's what he does. Apparently, it's, you know, what the fuck? That's such a terrible take. This, this guy. It's such a terrible <laughs> take. We'll keep going. I, fuck it. So, um, yeah, a lot of black people won, which mm-hmm. was dope. A lot of good music that was actually put out, especially in R&B categories and shit like that. You want to see your list? Um, I pretty much know it, but okay. I gave you the list to see if I, if I missed somewhere. Jasmine Sullivan. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you got that. Well, Jasmine Sullivan, and I just wanted to say, because, like, Sonic. I know something. Well, all right, real quick. The Coke heads? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's okay. mad Coke music. Okay. Yeah, but Jasmine Sullivan winning is important because she's one of the greatest black singers we had. Like, no, she's phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she I, didn't, I didn't really re- respect her. Like, Jasmine like Sullivan could sing her ass off. Respected until this album. Because not only about the singing, but the material. The story. And then I listened like, bust the windows out your car, mm-hmm. lions, tigers, and bears. Mm-hmm. Like, when you really listen to it, it's so much real artwork. Like, right. she's like, like, okay, we joked about it, but she's really like, I'm not scared of lions, tigers, and bears, but look, but I'm, what really is scary is loving you. That's such a dope, and mm-hmm. niggas. Yo, bro, I never really like. Lamar. No, because no, I'm, I'm afraid of a lion. Jay. Fuck that. <laughs> she <laughs> wrote that song. I, I thought somebody else wrote it. Because I was like, this song is too incredible. For mm-hmm. So legit, she'll fight lions and tigers and bears, but she's scared to fall in love? That's. Yeah. But I'm just saying, it's a deep concept. That's so, because she dealt with a nigga like you who can't even ask for help to move a damn couch. I thought I had so it. These protective I thought ass niggas I had it. ruining women. Shook Sonic won, and, and, and yes, they both coked, coked out his head. I don't think Anderson Pack on coke like that. We know Bruno. That nigga went to jail um, when he got his first Grammy. He was literally in court. Did y'all, did y'all know that? Yes. Right? Okay, yes. yeah. Nah, I didn't, I didn't really know about his dirty laundry like that. I know they don't talk about Bruno on The Breakfast Club. I don't know. Nah, Bruno, uh, the day he won his first Grammy, like he was supposed to be at the Grammy was he at court because he had possession of coke like that day. And literally the, the, the judge said some shit like, um, I'm only going to pretty much let you go because I see what's going on with you, but you got to get it together, bro. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, But yeah, nah, Silk Sonic. But honestly, that's why the music's so good. So <laughs> shit, keep it up, nigga. Shit. I run through with Yo, you. So, so check it out. Um, one of, Talking about um, just like the racial aspect yep. of the Grammys and how many black people won, and it was great. Um, in the reggae I'm, category. Yes, I want, I, damn it, that's what I didn't name. I want to, I want to ask you about that. Didn't, feel, a, didn't a white person win? And go ahead, ask me. How did you? How did y'all feel about that? A white person won, right? It's the group. Do you know? Remember the name of the group? It's called Soldier. Oh man, that bothers me a lot. Why does it bother you? It bothers me. Why? <laughs> Mad cultural appropriation. God damn it! I mean, Obviously. but there's, there's a lot of white people in Jamaica. But let me ask you a question. That's true. Mm. Th- there's a lot of white people and there's a lot of Asians. In more Jamaica. Chinese. Yeah, Stop I was about it. to say more Stop Chinese. It. Way more Chinese. But, Chinese but are coming. They're but, coming. Let me ask you a question. Like, why? Well, why is it? But here's here's a, so here's the thing. <laughs> the why does it? That might be a Chinese group. It's not. It's not. They're white. It's but why, BTS. Why does it bother you, though? Yo, they killed the Grammys, oh, by no, the way. They, they, they why, does it, why does it bother you? Oh, they performed. Oh. Uh, we're moving really fast. I love it. This is weird. It's like it's a coke conversation. Um, Why does it bother me? Uh, It bothers me because I can see the 
Well, no. We know that cultural cultural appropriation is a real thing. We get that. Cultures appropriate cultures, right? Yep. For the money and Post Malone. Yeah. Um But I really hate when the appropriated culture wins, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It hurts. It hurts me in any culture. Like, so I, man, uh, what is like, and like, co- and what's culture appro- or culture appropriation exactly? Like, I, is like, that I, like, I'll give the Dave Chappelle shit when he was like, how Bruce Jenner became Caitlyn Jenner and then became Woman, Woman of, of the, the Year. Year. Woman of the Year. That is cultural appropriation. It's like, and the then team. you win. It's like, yo, bro. So, what? So, all right. So it's basically if. If I start doing some, if I do something because I'm inspired by another culture mm-hmm. and I mimic what they do. Inspiration is beautiful. And then I d- end up doing it very well at a high level. Mm-hmm. And then I get awarded. I'm now culture appro- appropriating. It, no, it, it's, it's, it's the motive behind it. So no. the, mo- the motive matters. Mo- but like, it's, but wait, motive? wait, wait. Okay, I got so, uh, uh, so motive matters to me, right? The reason why I say Post Malone <laughs> is because Post Malone literally said in an interview that he was putting out country music. Nobody was fucking with him. He got tatted. He let his hair go. He just started doing wild shit and stopped pretty much his upkeep and did hip-hop music, and now he's winning awards because he see that it was there's a monetary gain there. He can get superstardom there. So let me, let me go that route so I could become who I want to become. Plus... If you Miley are, Cyrus. If you are of the, the dominant society, you can win because once you're culturally appropriating, you can just get right back in your white bag. Elvis. Mm-hmm. Eminem. So, so uh, well, no. Wait, because on, why, wait, I can't why, go Eminem. No, why, because, why do you well, say bec- Eminem yes and why do you say Eminem no? Because the question has been brought up, if Eminem was a black rapper, he'd just be a good black rapper. And I disagree with that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I disagree with that point. Okay. I, I don't disagree well, why, with the fact. So go ahead. Why do you say Eminem? Uh, that's the, but that's the argument if we're talking about. Only because he'll be a. He, bro, he'll, he'll be, be black thought. He'll be, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, no matter who I name, you're going to say no, so it don't matter. But. You know what I'm saying? He'll be some of the best rappers that we've heard. You know, the 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 I, you know what I'm saying? It's niggas that you know that can rap for real and we don't fuck with them. We may not even like their music. I, the same I, way we I, don't really like Eminem's music. I'll be very honest with you, I don't know any black rappers who now we ha- I do know um you know indie rappers or whatever, but I don't really know any but black rappers. M was who, an indie rapper. I don't know any black rappers whose material matches Eminem's from start to finish on on a on a chill vibe, on a crazy vibe, on a high level, and honestly, y'all, overall, it don't matter who I mention because Eminem is Eminem. Yeah. So literally, whatever comes out of my mouth, just it's a, like we just, we're talking about a concept. Yeah, conceptually. So I'm saying conceptually because the person that I would mention would be Pharaoh Mach, but mm. y'all gonna say who? What? I've never heard. Don't Can't dis- nobody don't name us. Don't disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? Don't disrespect me. You know Pharaoh Mach? Yes, I do. Pharaoh Mach, but. Fine, I get it. But at the same time, Feral Mach was on the same album as Eminem. You got two motherfuckers who rapping at the same level. But he's a white boy. No, but no, but Feral Mach also didn't have mainstream appeal. Like, bro, there's so many Neither did him. Yes, he did. He's charismatic. He's fucking he's a, 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 a what is it? A rebel rouser, what's the word? Like he's a he's the anti, he's the like he's that. He's perfect you. for the media. So what let's bring it back, man. But at the end of the day, yes. cuz we you know, you know once we get to the music, yeah, it's a rap yeah, for the yeah, show. Yeah. So so when So they, so so that makes me upset whenever people come in to bring it back to your point and they're culturally appropriating, but because you're part of the dominant society, you got like a little bit of like daddy's money. You know what I'm saying? You got a little bit of, eh, my dad just deposited 20000 Not Nothing much. I'm just like you, baby. I'm just like you. But It's I, like, yo, who, who the fuck was that white boy that one year? And, and I hate that is, we're coming here. But yeah. I, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back to drinking again. So Don't go crazy, though, sir. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. But um, what's his name? <laughs> um, The white boy who won all the Grammys that year and beat Kendrick out. Oh, oh, um, um Damn. Macklemore. There you go. Fucking Macklemore. I, and yo. You can't tell me that's not cultural appropriation. No, it, it was so culturally appropriate. You can't tell me that, that he, he beat Kendrick out. for. No, but he was so bad that, that he himself said, I don't deserve all of this. Like, yeah, like, like straight up. Grammys. It was like, bro. So, so dog, he beat it, Drake. He beat Kendrick. He beat, he beat Kanye. He, he you know, beat everybody. Macklemore, one I, album? I thought cultural appropriation was when they... Uh, let's say they do come, they take credit, 
a win, they um, get sw- more leeway or advantage due to their skin color. Right. Um, but they don't give any credit or show respect to the Godfathers, to the people who they believe, you know, should have won or whatever. It's like if I am a white white act white actor and I act in a in a hip hop movie and I win right. all type of Oscars or Grammys or whatever, but Denzel, Will Smith, <laughs> um, <laughs> and a couple more great actors. Right are also featured in that same Grammy class, and I think that they had better performances than I did, and I acted in whatever, but I win, but I give them the respect. I'm, you know... It, it's a two-fold that's question. That's bullshit. No, no, but... But, it's a, but, but is it still but it's a, cultural it's, it's a, appropriation? It's a two-fold question, because you winning is because you culturally... Appro- Justin Timberlake culturally appropriated black music, and mm. even though Agreed. he's good at it... He's amazing at it. He's amazing Phenomenal. at it. It's still true that it happened. That is true. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it happened also, when you did it. He also left Janet Jackson out the drive. Bro, for years. It's yeah. a whole documentary. Mm-hmm. So, but, but wait, wait. But then the other part is, not only do you culture appropriate, you a dickhead about it. You know what I'm saying? And that would be Elvis. Because yes. they was like, yo, Elvis, bro, you going to act like you didn't sing black music? He was like, oh, this was all me, baby. It's like, really, nigga? So, I have a question. I understand that us as black people technically can't be racist. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. We could be prejudiced. Mm-hmm. Um, can we culturally have we culturally appropriated anything? To be honest, we created all the cultures. We, we, yes, I, I was, thank you. Beat you. So I mean that there's no possible way that we could culturally appropriate anything. When we culturally appropriate, Music, uh, musically, unless musically. we cook food unseasoned. Music. I'm gonna tell you when we culture. <laughs> about you. Yo, and that's what I'm saying. Well, this never man, again. it's such a you know. Each, we are the culture. Each one of these these conversations have the layers have have layers. We culturally appropriated when we um, when we affirmative actioned and when we cut our hair to go to work and say, well, yes, sir, I'll come through with that information for you. Uh, right now, yes, sir. Oh, do you need that? I got you on that paperwork, sir. That's culturally appropriating white people because we did it to feel like we had to fit in. That's that fight between Malcolm and Martin. Martin was like, well, just be like the white people. Come and, through. Come and we through, did it. Dang. Come we did it. Is it a negative to culture? It's fucking negative it's as fuck, very, bro. It's very negative. The worst shit we ever did was culturally appropriate white culture and try to be like white people. So the greatest thing we ever did was be us. So does that mean that it's it's gonna always be negative if if they are trying to be like us? It will always be negative as long as they're the dominant society. So now it Okay, now here where I come back to. Mm-hmm. If we create all the, if we create the culture. Because Godfrey said something on mm-hmm. the Breakfast Club. Basically, anything musically mm-hmm. comes from the pain of Black people. Yes, right? for the most part. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we can talk about the blues. All of it. Once we talk about the hip-hop, blues, hip hop, jazz, blues, jazz, else, all that shit, right? gospel, all of it. Um, reggae, reggae, country, which created country, country which we made first. Yes, all country, that shit. Country, which translates into pop, whatever. Rock and roll, which Rock we made roll, first. Yeah. All that. So <laughs> every single movie. Everything is off the pain of black people. Just Fucking going bluegrass, nigga, all that um, shit. Expressing themselves, rhythm and blues, mm-hmm. you feel me? Um, rhythm and sad music. Mm-hmm. Um, if we create all of the trends mm-hmm. and we create the trend for the world and then mm-hmm. the world joins in on that trend, right? Mm-hmm. Can we be upset if the world also appreciates another we, person of we the can world. and I'll tell you why and I, I said this 20 minutes ago I'll say it again motive the motive matters so to me if your sole purpose is to get in so you can have monetary gain and oh I know that's a hit so let me do that because I can be a hit as well that matters to me yes my problem with that is Motive is very difficult to assess. No, it's not. So, you can tell some. I just told you an individual who came out as himself. No, I'm, did not I'm trying, pop. But I'm trying to say. I'm trying to he say. He then said, "Oh, I can make it over there. <laughs> so let me do what they do, so I can be acceptable over there yeah, and make some money." Yes, and now he popped. But that's the reason why that's not difficult. You don't have to figure that out because he blatantly said it. Mm-hmm. The reason why I'm saying is other people of that persuasion or. Um, no, oh, but I, 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 here's, here's, I, I can also tell question. when other people do would that you, without them saying it. Would you say that um, Latin 
Latin, the Latin culture appropriated, would they be looked at like reggaeton or even hip hop? Is that appropriate? It just, it just well? gets too deep because Latin people are historically black, black people. Bro, they're still black. What are we talking? Like, so are we, it's still so, us, bro. That should have been in the list. Blues, Latin, reggaeton, so, so, so rap. I, it's all us. So we about. created rhythm. <laughs> anything that is here, anything we that's there, we created so, cool. that. so why do you say Eminem is not culturally appropriated? Because to the best of my knowledge, and I'm going by the eye test, Mm-hmm. M has never said, oh, yeah, I'm doing this because I tried that. It didn't work. But over here, I'm lit. He's never said that, to the That's best true. of my knowledge. And looking at the eye test, he's really on some, yo, I'm a historian. I'm of this culture. I may be of this pigment, but I'm really him when it comes to that. And being genuine is something that you can feel. Yeah. I mm-hmm. personally feel, and I could be wrong here. Let me know if I'm wrong. But I personally I feel that, that when, when I'm looking at that individual, I'm seeing something that's genuine. Now, me personally, I can look at a bunch of acts in the past, today, in the future. I can look at them all and say, that's not really genuine. Right. I can tell when that's not really you. Miley, Miley Cyrus is on stage twerking and showing titties, ass, and pussy. Yep. Doing all that shit. Mm-hmm. Just so she can get a little bit of buzz. So then she can go back to doing her fucking Christian God, country, she western went music. right back as soon as it was over. That's cultural appropriation. That's let me get lit over here so yep. I can make some, make a bag and then come back to doing what I'm doing so I can sustain my bag. Mm. That is different than what Eminem is doing. To me, once, once again, I could if I'm wrong, somebody prove me. I give you that. But I, I don't. I don't. I, I, I can. I can I you can. I can feel. I, it. I give you one more that's genuine. Robin Thicke, and I say Robin Thicke. Only because if you listen to his music, mm-hmm. he's just a white guy that likes soul music. I feel bad for Robin Thicke. I feel bad. I'm he fucked up by being white and yes, fucking over a I, beautiful black oh woman. Oh, God. Now, that's a different story. I feel so bad for Robin yeah, Thicke. I, I think he just, I think he got too black. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a good Yo. take, though. That's a good take. That's a good oh, take. Oh, Robin Thicke take. became a nigga. <laughs> he, got, he forgot his hair flowed in the wind. And he was... He was he just thought she would understand. He forgot he was John Smith and Pocahontas. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Got it. Like, That's he, hilarious. He no, that is. He really That's looked, a good take. He looked like a Prince Charles. He turned to a nigga, like a nigga. Taekwondo. No, no, no. He turned to He got two yeah, black. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, he I, got two yeah. black. So, he was sorry, Robin. spades so, and dominoes. Yeah. He was, was wilding. <laughs> he was <laughs> seasoning the shit out of his food. <laughs> you <laughs> feel <laughs> me? <laughs> on on uh, Real Husbands. What, what's the real? Real Hollywood. I don't know. Hollywood. Yes. That TV show with Kevin Hart and all He looked. He looked more gangster than the rest. Them. I mean, I'm mean, very honest with you. you. Know. I respect him a lot. Uh, so, boom. So now I'm, I'm actually. We got to bring this back to the Grammys. I, 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 I want to uh, progress so the conversation. The we got to, we got to, we got to. The reason why I'm asking these questions about white people, right? The reggae segment. Um, the band that won, their name is uh, Soldier. Yeah. Right? All white band. And How do you it spell it? S O J A. Soldier Boy Way? No, that's not no, how soldier. So- yeah, he got S O U L J A H. Come on, come on now. Dude, but anytime I, you hear the j-, j, it's not the way soldier is spelled. You know what I'm saying? So j, so like, so j. The same. So with a pot, with a Jamaican accent, so j. I get that. So j, but so j. A soldier, soldier boy. That's that's why. I was so a I just now explained something. You said you get it, but then you I gonna go it. ahead and say something stupid. It's See, not. It's wrong with us. Look at the way you spell Soldier Boy, though. Continue with your point, please, sir. Dick <coughs> it. Um, so, so a lot of people were enraged about it, and there was like mixed reviews. They were like, you know, people were upset because they're white and they won Best Reggae Album. Mm-hmm. But naturally, they just got upset because automatically, when we think of reggae, we think of Jamaica, we think of Jamaica, we think of black people. Yeah. Right? Um, without actually knowing. The history, like Soldier, has been around since night. It was the band was formed in 1997. You feel me? So band had been around for 25 years, mm-hmm. making reggae music. That same band, full of white people, mm-hmm. has brought on multiple, uh, multiple Jamaican acts on the road internationally, mm. right? Has helped them spark. You feel me? But people are not doing that research. They're just literally, literally looking at the pigmentation, thinking about culture appropriation and being mad off rip. And I think that, you know, I think sometimes in America, we overly play the race card. You think so? 
thousand percent. Oh, so you about to hate my segue? Okay, I think we overly play the race card. I think there Ooh. is a. You I think, opened up a part of me. I was like, oh, I don't want to go here. Yeah, I definitely about, think we overly to, play the race card. I think that. Oh man. If you even even if, whether we think we don't, hearing, <laughs> hearing other nations of black people. For example, I think um, England is probably the most mirrored to what we got going on over here, right? Hearing how English people from Britain or London, whatever, Mm -hmm. speak on how we overplay that race card. Because racism is everywhere, but it's the headline on every single day over here. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. No, no I, I'm I'm ready to segue. I just want to know. I don't want to cut you, you want off. Move off into something. Else? No, no, it's it's a perfect segue. That literally we could stay right here and I could just introduce something new. That's interesting. This could, bro, this is, this is deep. You know what I'm saying it's a deep concept. All I'm gonna say is mm-hmm. you're talking about something that that's happening versus a country that was built specifically off of racism. You know what I'm saying? America is here. You're here. Everyone's here. Even people come here. People who travel here. People who visit here. Everybody's on this fucking soil because of racism. So overplaying the racism card is just being like American. It's what it is, bro. That's a pretty damn good point right there, bro. Not necessarily. Okay. It well. just feels good. No, I'm... I mean, I made it. Put some sauce on it. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> put a little sauce on it. It just feels good. I'm not going to say I it. Put it some, feels good. Put some, put some, very well. <laughs> put a little, little sauce salt, on babe. it. A little sauce, little sauce on it. But. No, but. You can be like this on the, on the you know, I had to. I had to. I said, it's nah, big is. No, but see, dog, this country, that, that's, it, anybody that comes to America, you come to America because you can get things like jobs, <laughs> things like freedom, things like. It, um, man, it, it, um, fucking loans. It think, but that's because the people here fought because, you know what I'm saying, it was such a fucked up place. And now a motherfucker from anywhere can come and, I got a job. I go over to business. Think it, yeah, now. But, but, but more importantly, a motherfucker. But my bad, from, I'm, I'm just no, running. No, a, a motherfucker from anywhere can come here and get a loan, but we can't still. Right. Yeah. And, that, and, and that's what I'm saying. So overplaying the race card, yeah, every, a Polish person would say every that. Every corner store <laughs> in New York is owned by a nigga from Yemen. Yes. And I know this to be fact. We know that. You know that. Every one of them. The ox is everywhere, yo. Guess what? You try, Spanish, a, you, you try and get a you try and get a you try and get a business loan, you with your black skin, guess what happened? It don't. So you you, you we, we bro. Mm. So if you come here yeah. and say you from I me, mean, I do want to I do want to throw one in there though. So of course the race card is you, played, absolutely. It's, it's many, life. So, so for example, all right. So you do say every you know those black businesses, those those businesses, corner stores in New York. I've only known a few black-owned corner stores. One right? of them is in Canarsie. It's called Brothers Corner Store. Well, I'm sorry, I, Br- Brothers Deli, and they may have closed down. To be honest with you. Well, from what I've seen, the one on Avenue A. Between no. Uh, oh. No. What? Well, well, Atlanta's different. Specifically. No, no. We talking about Brooklyn. Oh, Canarsie. but in Brooklyn, no. Black. Uh, black people just don't own corner stores. No, I'm telling you. But barber shops, motherfucking hair shops. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've seen that in Brooklyn. I'm about to ask you. So Ooh. the problem is not necessarily getting alone because we do own hair salons, barber shops, and other thing, other kind of places of the culture, right? Usually in entertainment or whatever, or hair or whatever. So we are getting those loans for those businesses, mm-hmm. but we're not choosing to open corner stores. I disagree mm-hmm. with that because we don't yeah. own that fucking building. The dog is so. That's what I'm saying. This is, a, bro, it, we can put a way. No, no, bro, it's, hit, hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me, hit this will be a whole no, other no, show. I'm dead, I'm, I'm dead ass serious. We can get into what, it. What happens is you'll open up your LLC and get your license, right? Right. Yeah. That, that's that's the steps, right? And then you'll say, "All right, cool. Let me let me go own something." And you think you would own it. No, what we get is we'll go get a lease from the Jewish guy, from the the the, the Schwarzschwitz, and we'll pay them rent forever on a business that we own. What happens is the nigga from Yemen came over. He's been in the country for six months, right? He gets his visa. He becomes a, a, a naturalized citizen or whatever they want to call it. He gets the loans that he needs. He, gets he owns the building. They live upstairs. They have the business downstairs. No one has ties to this 
building that they own. Mm -hmm. They then raise their family. The little six-year-old that was running around the corner store, he now runs that corner store when you're 25, right? Mm -hmm. Your your kids now go to that corner store. His kids is now running that. They Mm -hmm. own that. What happens is we pay rent in a building that we own as our business, right? And what happens is if COVID come or if something come and come and shut down the building, we're asked out. We're because we, we two l- different points. No, but you can't say that when it was my point to begin with. Was, so if you're introducing a point, that's on you. But you're, Your point is rebuttaling, rebuttaling my point. No, I started by saying people in Yemen own corner stores, and then you brought up something else. So we started. I know what I'm doing right now, right? So we started there. They actually own because they're given the opportunity to own. We're never given the, yo, hey, you go, run your ship, we're going to leave you alone. We never get that. We get the, yeah, run your ship in this building where we can control everything. The movie Barbershop was about <laughs> the fact that his daddy own, didn't own his shit. Didn't own it, but it was there for 68 <laughs> years. Everyone was like, look you. at us. So, this is so, your shop. No, But nigga, again, a nigga's like, so, yo, you yeah, need this money, though. Oh, if you owned it. Oh, hold on. Understand, I'm not arguing ownership at all. That's something that I- Are you I, arguing I, choice? Exactly. I'm not arguing mm-hmm. ownership. I understand that. So my, luckily, my mother rented a salon mm-hmm. on Church and um, Church and Forty Knife. She worked. She got the salon with someone, mm-hmm. then bought that person out of it. Ha- rented the salon herself, and then found a way to buy the building where the salon is from the person who's owning it. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly, it was a black Haitian woman that owned it. She found a way to That's buy it from, from her, and she controls it's the whole building, right? It's always one exception so then, to the rule. I'm down with that. Cool. So what I'm talking about, but that was her choice. Like, she chose. She wanted to. She 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 has a problem with authority. So whatever she got to do to make sure a motherfucker don't talk to her crazy, she'll do it. Yeah. I feel you. So yeah. what That's I'm saying thing. is. That's what's up, yeah. What I'm saying is the point that we made where the choice of the kind of business to open. Right now, even when my mother was just renting that store. Mm-hmm. If my mother wanted to do a full renovation of whatever she wanted to do, as she long as that... She permission. Understandable. Mm-hmm. Understandable. But as long as that rent is still coming into play, <laughs> she could do it. What I'm saying is, business owners, especially black business owners, there's a very, very small percentage of people who are trying to do certain things that are in innately not... Spe- not known for a black person to own this. Like, we're not opening we're, we're laundry in a, mats. We're in a niche. A we're niche, in a, a niche. niche. Yeah. So corner stores are not being opened by black people because it's not a choice. It's not a sexy thing. Black people mostly I follow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you get it off. But I, I, I can disagree with you. I don't, I don't gotta go that far then. So the reason why I disagree with you is, um, Fuck. I, I firmly believe that we are we as a people people. we're not stupid. Right, so we can see the first people go over that mountain to get shot, and it didn't work. Right? How many how many people you got to see go over that mountain and get shot before you realize I'm not gonna go over there? And that's why I think the conversation that's 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 where we're we're having. Yeah, um, if I know for a fact, Rob tried to open a corner store, he got denied, but Hashmish got it right, and then Sarah tried to open up a corner store, she got denied, but Yahweh got it. If we know that's the trend, we're going to stay away from that trend because obviously we're not breaking ground over there. So I can't say it's not the quote unquote, because you said sexy, the quote unquote sexy thing. Like, I'm pretty sure that we, bro, black, black people as a whole are very ambitious, bro. Like, we, we, we created everything. We created ambition. We, cre- we created everything. <laughs> so why the fuck would we not want to be and, in and, everything? And, you don't think, how about this? We, we live in the hood our whole life, right? You don't think that. All the products that we put in our hair, we want to own that shop. No, but a Korean does. You want to know why? Because a Korean could come to this country and get a fucking loan. We've what? been here. We built this fucking country, but can't get that same loan to sell the same hair products to our people. The same fucking vegetable stand that we would love to sell to our people, we can't because they could come and get. And I'm, I'm saying they, and it's very, no, dis- no, no. it's very divisive right no, now. No, but it's I, true. I, I, but I, but I hate that part of it too because it's very divisive, and right. I'm not that kind of guy. But if we're gonna talk about, it, let's talk about uh, it. You, we're, not, you can't, we're not. We're not putting 
turn them down. We're, no, we're saying a fact. We're saying okay. a privilege so, that so, they but, have. But, Real quick. But that's the Put conversation I'm trying to talk about. Because because it, it's not that we don't, we don't see a business model and we don't want to get involved. We Bro. want to get involved with the business model. Here's what happens. But it's not afforded to us. The, 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 all right. What so it's, it's what, 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 what don't people don't understand. It, can't say what people don't understand is. We just gave examples of what black people, people owning. What people don't understand. Or, or what spots. I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to explain to you is that. Man, I hate talking like that. That's what I say. You you got it there, and uh, we uh, we have mad topics, but facts. Glad we ain't name them, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Imagine if we'd have named the topics. This nigga ain't talking about shit. Um, I hate the word the dominant society. Nah, that bothers me. It bothers the shit out of me yeah, too, bro. I get it though. I get it. But the dominant society how, how about, does how not. About, wait, let me let me finish my. <laughs> can I let me finish my? <laughs> more niggas than us. Let's just. <laughs> they got more people. They got more niggas. Than us. Y'all not dominant. Y'all got more people. The dominant society doesn't qualify a hair shop as a major business. The dominant society does not qualify a, a barber shop as a major business. That's a good point. Because these types of businesses don't get equity, and they don't get. I ain't talking about personal equity. Like you can get buy your building, sell your building, have a few people that live with you. You got it. You made it in America. You did it. Yeah. But you don't get power. Yeah. They only want us to not have power. They'll give us the little whatever. You can have whatever, nigga. Sell Hold all that. the lawnmowers yeah. you want to sell. My Hold nigga, that. you want to sell socks? <laughs> Go ahead with your little socks. Look at you, look, look at you little sock salesman. Y'all watch Snowfall. I know y'all watch Snowfall. Come on, son. I know y'all watch you Snowfall. Know, uh, nigga. They, they allowed him to do just enough. And then whenever he gets... They rein him back in like, okay, you're wilding now. Bro. So so what happens is, yes. That's that's what we yes, do. Yes, yes, yes. You can have all of your small businesses. Sell your little things to your little people. Can that's I what's make, up. Can I make my segue now? Wait. I, d- go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go I ahead. just wanted to just wrap it. Mm. And, and, and that's the problem. And so I do agree that black people have different choices. But the thing that's missing to what you're saying is all the people who try to do other shit that you're always shot down. Yes. But they all of a sudden are okay when you're outside of being black people to do those things. And and whether you know or not, and I'm not even trying to like like nothing. It's it's real shit. Right now, if we wanted to open a money marketing company and we wanted give me fifty million and I'ma make you back two hundred billion, they like whoa, this nigga want real power. This nigga thing. He, <laughs> yeah. He's matter, matter, matter of fact. Go ahead and get your hair shot, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and sell your hats. Give him the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Give oh, you want an LLC. Okay, here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck with that shit. Because that's how we actually change. And they're scared that we're going to just do better and beat. So, no, you can open all the corners. And, and even a corner store is a small market, but corner store is still ownership. But we don't even get that. We don't even get <laughs> the fucking get corner that. stores, bro. You'll get that. You can open up a barbershop anywhere, though. Right now, if me the three of us want to do a barbershop, we could do that right now. We'd yeah, be like, yes, but we'll be renting in a building we don't own. So I mean, it, it's circular. But I, I want to stay here, but progress it slightly. My bad. Go ahead. Staying with the Grammys. You started, st- Lamar. Staying with this conversation. Let's talk Virgil. Right. Okay. So uh, rest in peace to Virgil. We, mm-hmm. we already know the situation. We already know the vibes. Right. Um, the world went up in smoke. Um, at this very same award, um, when he was um, honored on the Grammys, at, on the Grammys, he was presented as hip hop fashion designer. Ah, uh, that hurts. And a lot of people had a lot of shit to say. I wanted to 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 ask y'all brothers, how do we feel about him being? Can you answer first? Me? Sure. Okay. Um. I f- asked the question. My bad. You didn't clear it out. Well, I mean, I, I, I thought I did. Um, How do you feel about him being presented as a hip hop fashion designer? Um, I feel like that's the you can't own nothing, but you can rent. That's what I feel. You're you're a part of what we do. Um, you're I, not I, what we do. I feel like you're every single time. Are, allow me to allow me the space just to get this out, please. Go for it. All right, cool. Um, I feel like every single time we we reach a certain level or a certain status, they remind us of who the fuck we are. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like a lot of people are allowed to start somewhere and progress to better things. And when they get to better things, we exalt them where they are. We never bring up where they came from. Mm-hmm. A lot of other people can start somewhere 
and no matter what the fuck they do on earth we'll always remind them of way their where they came from um for instance if 50 goes to the laker game and he ends up on tv they're not going to say executive producer mogul 50 cent they're going to say rapper and that's the shit that pisses me it's off. It's like cold words. It's like, no matter what the fuck you do in life, they have a way to just put you in this little spot so, that you'll always be. And I know so, you, so just, mm-hmm. just around, like I said, yeah. just, just allow me the space ahead, just to get this out. Because yeah. this shit, this shit been bothering me for a while, right? And and you know me, I'm the, the pro-black, I'm, the, 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 I'm that guy of the show. Fuck it, whatever, I don't care. But it did bother me when you see somebody of this, somebody who was running a major fashion house. Right. Period. On earth. Louis Vuitton is not, not to downplay anybody's fashion line, but it's not the -the run-of-the-mill average t-shirt company. It's one of the tops. This is one of the biggest fashion houses in the, in the world. Mm -hmm. So if this man is your executive, whatever he is, if he's your creative director, if he's literally putting the dopest shit together, we need to recognize that. And we're not just going to say a hip-hop fashion designer because that's downplaying what the fuck he actually meant and what he's doing. And they do that shit way too time. many times. Like when, 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 and that's um, the shit that bothers me about it. I hate to bring up Kanye, but whenever Kanye's fucking up, rapper Kanye West. When Kanye's doing great... Oh, media mogul, businessman, billionaire, uh, Kim Kardashian husband. But when he's fucking up, oh, rapper Kanye West. They, it's like, wow. They, so They just associate that tag with blackness. Right. And they always do that shit. And then something that we, we fuck up from knowing is as black, as black we got to pay attention to the tags. Right? Like, I know your mom owned the hair thing. You know what I'm saying? That's honestly why I went into that example so you can understand what I'm saying. Let's say your mom bought 10 buildings. Right. And I don't I don't want to say nothing negative. Let's just say something happens with your mom and it gets on the news. They'll say, oh, hairstyler. And it's like, get the like, fuck she's out not of a here. fucking like, hairstyler, my nigga. Mogul, like, like, she my owns nigga. 10 fucking shops. Like, if How about business owner? Yeah. How about philanthropist? How about it, anything? Anything. Oh, hairstylist. It's like, you, you know, what's funny? You know, you know, <laughs> you know, what's funny. But you know, what's sad. I'm an artist. You're an artist. We that's that's what we do. Right. He's an artist too. No, he is. Look at his pants. Knees out. Art like a motherfucker. You're right. You're right. Van Gogh of knees. <laughs> 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 nah, but <laughs> honestly, matter of fact, bro, we, we you are the Beethoven of pants. <laughs> the Beethoven of pants. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we, we, ju- we just popped out to an event the other day, right? Um, it, was, it was a listening party, listening event for, for some shit. We, we was just there. Um, the guy that was on TV, it was his event. Matter of fact, that's a disrespectful. Yo, Shardo. Shout out to Shardo. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you for having Big us at the event. Shardo, we appreciate um, you, We're definitely going to get you on this show. Um, what time is it? Bro, it doesn't matter. You worried about the wrong thing, bro. Damn. But, Shout out um, to Shardo. Yes. But... <laughs> He literally said, yo, y'all are dope. What do you do? Mm-hmm. I make it a conscious effort every single time I speak to somebody to say I'm an artist. Mm-hmm. You want to know why? Because when you say I'm a rapper, that's the negative connotation. Facts. I'm an artist. Oh, what kind of art do you do? I do hip-hop and R&B. I also produce tracks. I'm also a writer and a producer. I do all that. Right. But once you say you're a rapper, negative connotation. Cause the, and the, they made that a the thing. The news has made that a thing. It made it a thing. <laughs> so now, when I see Dog. hip-hop fashion designer, <clears throat> don't do that to that man, bro. I, I just remember, because I studied. When Buddy asked me what I do, I was like, God damn, I don't know. What you want me to start at? I said, <laughs> I named like six businesses. But that's what you I do. Named, yeah, it was a lot, though. No, yeah. but, but, nah, but, 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 but imagine if somebody said, hairstylist. I do that, too, you feel me? Nah, no, not you no do that, too, but man. is that you? Yeah. So, so, if so, someone, so, so if you said, so if you said everything question, that you said, and that nigga said, so we got hairstylist Lamar, you'd be like, no, I'm a multifaceted, I'm a so I'm, I'm a mogul. My, my question is a couple things. Number one, as he um, yawns again, we get one good yawn every episode from that's Lamar. That's true. That's true. Like mid sentence too. Like he don't give a fuck. <laughs> He's like, so I got. Yeah, <laughs> okay, and uh, <laughs> I, just, I just said I do a lot. Okay? Yeah. All right. 
Um, one thing I do want to know. You need to like, ask for help. Let's talk about uh, solutions. That's what you need to do. You feel me? So, <laughs> um, that's the problem. Boom. Who is, we can say, you know, white people, who is not only writing the titles, like, yeah, like, not white people, mm. but how do we go ahead and, and fix that? Are we, like, in the moment? When we see it, like, if I'm okay. presenting the award and they says Virgil hip hop art, do I immediately say, wait, does that say hip hop? No, 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 no. We got to, we got to change that. Can we, can we put, no, Virgil. All due respect, Virgil was a. I just, I just want to say yes. Okay. It's on us, but go ahead. Jay. I, I was my just bad. Cause say, I, cause like, I, I, that made me. I was, my I was just gonna think like that go should be the. I, go ahead, I Jay. promise you, you gonna go, bro. It's only us. Two. <laughs> it's only us. Yo, two. Like when I'm done. You be like Bari. Bari be doing that. We be like Bari. Relax. Really, You're really, next, like, nigga. I'm sorry. I really don't even <laughs> want to let you go. Like, be like you next, nigga. I'm gonna assume. He's next, everyone. I'm gonna assume what you gonna say and say it and then segue. Go ahead. Get our own shit. Back our own shit. Fund our own shit. So we no longer have to worry about what the fuck we're said or what, what the fuck we're introduced as at the Grammys. Okay. If we if we had our own water bottle awards and everybody in the culture puts stock in the water bottle awards guess what happens this becomes valuable this becomes something that we want it becomes coveted right the grammys is up there because that's what we were told that we wanted right we told that was the best event this is the top of the, the grammys the oscars the emmys we're told that this is the cream of the fucking crop but what happened to the ncaa the, the ncaa uh, what is it the ncaa p awards music, music awards. Uh, what, whatever it is whatever whatever it may be what happened to those can we, I, what can, happened to the source awards can I, I, but, no wait that's but, where but, i was going to go but i wasn't Hold finished wait, but, wait, i know but i, I, I he, raised he my just breached it I'm no sorry, but i raised go. my oh, hand no, relax I if i say hand. your point at least we get the point out i raised my hand you're not going to overtalk me 70 year old baby he's a 70 year old Baby. Is that I want to say? I want to say. Right, nigga, it, Apparently, it. I just want young knees. No go facts ahead. out. Nigga, you um, want young anything? But I'm what I was what I was saying it. before y'all in, before y'all interrupted. What, uh, it's spray Lord painted though. Jesus, it's sexy. That's what the fuck it is. Shout out to Ball, bro. Black right. spray is sexy, ladies. No, <laughs> go ahead, Jam. Let me come over there and take that hat off. Right, let's get past the me and Lamar talk shit about each other moment. Come on, Jay. For real, my bad, my bad. Head to like eighty five. All right, all right, all right. Come on, no. Jack and Jill went up his big ass head. We Dog, have on. our own shit. That's the hill. We own our own shit. We put stock into our own <laughs> shit. What happens is nobody can't talk to us crazy. Right. Nobody can't say nothing stupid to us on our own shit because we own that shit. Yes. And the thing is, we don't put stock into our own shit. And I don't know why. You know what it is? Me personally, I'm solution based, and for some reason, I can't find a solution for this. I'm, and I it, can. It, it I, may be I, bigger I than me. You gotta wait. But <laughs> if, if if we can get to a solution to this, this this may ease my my fucking tensions that I have. But if we put stock and owned our own, not, if we put stock into our own shit and 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 put our own shit on a pedestal, we uh, wouldn't worry about what the fuck somebody said about us at the fucking Grammys, because this man should not be called a hip hop fashion designer. Right. At the fuck, that's like God forbid, not God forbid, but I mean, we all gonna pass one day. But when Dapper Dan passes, what are we gonna say about that man? Uh, he designed some rap clothes. Oh, he, uh, uh, no, some little he, stupid rappers. No, but technically he's a bootlegger. So, so are you gonna call him that? Oh, he, oh he, bootlegger like, rapper Dan like, dies. Like, is, is he gonna what? Yo, what game, what, what, what the fuck? Like we need to, we need our own shit so we can exalt our own people, and we don't have that, and that's what pisses me off every fucking time. Go ahead, Dan. I'm only pausing because I don't want to say too much. No, no, but seriously, even with the lap, like I get it. No, because it's a, it's a, Bro, just it's a delicate. Ahead. No, just let me. I'm doing this so I can get my thoughts. It's a delicate it's a issue. Mm-hmm. Right, can I go first? All right, no, I got it. So what happens is, the first thing we need to do is we need to, as as much as we own it, we also need to police it, because the problem with what we do, as black people, celebrities, money, we get high. We get a Source Awards, or we get a Will Smith smacking Chris Rock. What I'm trying to, and I want to, I know, but that's what I'm saying. So just let me rock, please. I get it. I'm, I said that on purpose just to be like, ah, but then you understand. It's a different situation. It's like no, but that literally happened at the Source. My name, like the same thing is when we, pol- we we don't we don't police ourselves. And it's reasons why, and that's why I say I'm try- I'm not trying to make it too long. 
because we're taught not to police ourselves. We're taught that we're the animals that we are. And we, we you know, taught by the same people that own it all. You know what I mean? But, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to get too deep. So, of course, we'll never be able to do it because that's what they tell us we're never able to do. You know what I'm saying? So, what the fuck, bro? It's, it's, it's way super deep. But we do need to find a space to, if we do own it, we need to also have a security. Ain't no way Will Smith walks up on that stage at our show, bro. That's our show. A nigga not finna walk square on the stage. Yo, security rushing this nigga. For what anybody should not be able to. I don't give a period. You know what I'm saying? A nigga's. It, uh, you can't help what a person says, right? So if we go source awards, if a nigga say something, a nigga say something. But it wasn't a fight. It was actually violent. But that is something that is also a part of what we do. So what happens is the dominant society is always like, see, that's what niggas do. And this is why we don't work with y'all. You're right, we need to own it. But we also need to own the other side of it. And that's the part that bothers me. Because it's like, well, what about black on black crime? I hate, I, nigga, I hate. I, but do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, so, so when like we, how do you fix that? So when I, we come I, to that, I, I when we come to understand. that, when we come to that, it's not only, everything needs to be policed. You feel me? Everything needs Agreed. to be security. Everything needs to be up to par. There's a standard in a particular industry if there's a standard of business, you feel me? Um, if I have this particular business, what are the what are the, the the structures that I need to have in it? We're not skipping steps, cause that you skip those steps and you don't have a um, a proper business. If you have a music production, what do we need? We need lights. We need proper cameras. We need everything. We need these different kind of managers communicating with each other so we can get the sound proper. Everything needs to be in place. So just when it comes to the security, just when it comes to the penalization. Everything needs to be there just as it would on any other platform. You feel me? That's called professionalism. Right. Right? So that needs to be police. But what needs to be more than anything, in my personal opinion, pride and honor needs to be there. Right? Um, how The reason why the Will Smith smack is still being talked about is not because um, it was a smack, not because one black man smacked another black man. It's not it. It's not because one huge celebrity smacked another one. If Will Smith smacked Chris Rock in the club, we wouldn't be talking about it right now, right? It's because where they did it mm -hmm. and where what Chris was doing at the time. It's not even about the way he said about Jada is why we still talking about it. It was at the Oscars, and everyone respects the Oscars for this, but whatever reason, because the respect – the energy that people put towards it is what gives it the praise, the 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 the, the, the just the, the acclaim. What, what what makes it so big is the respect we put towards it. We've had we we've we've had these things as as black people. We've had or we have things that mirror all of these award shows. Not the we, we, right. we don't because we, we don't put a claim into it. And we, we have, we're not, we're not we have, the dominant society. I was very quiet when y'all were talking. It's true. We have had these things. Yeah. Regardless if we put the claim to it or not, that doesn't defeat the defeat what I said about we've had these things. Us not putting the claim to it is what I'm talking about. Us not putting the respect to it is what I'm talking about. Us not putting the energy to say, yo, we finally have something is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Every time we have something, it feels so much sexier and more, more honorable to want to do what Mass are doing, right? Because what Matt, because we always are going to put that color, that those people, that whatever, on a particular level subconsciously. So whatever they probably are doing, whatever they probably hold dare is what we put forward right now i don't even want to but if i have a white friend i have a black friend and they both talk about security systems i'm thinking i'm listening a little close to the white guy because i it, i've been trained that he probably has a more secure crib just technologically in the back of my mind he probably got a motherfucking lasers in his crib i don't know because that's how i've been conditioned but that, that same conditioning is in everything we got going on so when we decide to say, boom, yo, we're not giving you that energy no more. We're not giving you that respect that what you have is better than what I have. That is when what we already fucking have becomes important. And that's when we take ownership. Because we only take ownership when everyone desires to be a part of something. 
not if something is created. I absolutely Clip agree with you. No, no, I, I, Wait, I just, I just want to say the same thing I said. But I just, no, no, yeah, I, was, we, we've been yeah. saying a Y'all lot of this. So, I mean, yeah, we on the same side. I'm, I'm, at the end of the day, the day it's like, at the end, the but, yeah. but you also be, you, you have to be willing to defend it to the death. And I mean that. That's the realest shit I can say. You got to be willing to defend what you just said to the death. And what happens is, motherfuckers ain't willing to defend it to the death. Because niggas got pussy waiting. We got money coming. We got haircuts to get. Niggas got cars and houses. It's, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you real shit. We got, we got good credit to have. Because niggas, niggas be like, death. Niggas got songs oh, to put out. No, 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 death no, 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 no. permanent. It's like, I mean, death. nigga. No, it's but, like. But, but remember, it goes back into. But you, but, it goes back into how But now we're talking about you, solutions. It goes back into how much do you respect, honor, and desire to be a part of this Do thing. you spe- respect death it enough to any, die? Bro, death doesn't have nothing to. Understand what I'm saying. You're talking about the money, the pussy, the all that, right? The Oscars? People respect it enough that whatever day that is, they have blocked their calendar out. Why? Because it's that important. Even if they don't know if anything lit is coming out. It's, for example, think about your favorite actor. When your favorite actor makes a movie, right? You're like, yo, I'm going to go see that movie. Why? Because you believe in that actor so much that you, you, you have attached yourself to that person's progress, that person's journey, whatever they got going on. That same love that we have towards that actor, whether they produce or don't produce, right, we just need to have towards our movement and our culture. And that's all I'm talking about. So, so it's so, not about whether we so create something. It's about whether it's, it's we a, believe in it. What's my word? This, that's why this is a juxtaposition between what happened. This was a black Oscars. Will Packer produced it. Will Packer produced most of the... The black movies, we should all as collectively been like, let's watch this, let's support this. We didn't. Niggas don't it wasn't watch. Wasn't promoted. N- niggas didn't watch. Hey, but because they, they don't give black niggas, you know, we, whatever. You're now talking once again, Dame, to the black person who is renting the building. Mm. I don't give a fuck if it was a black Oscars. What the rent. fuck does that mean? That That's it. Yo, th- yo, th- I get that. <laughs> My, I get that. They that just is, give us little crumbs, and we just supposed to clamor to it and run to it. I don't give a fuck if a black person produces this shit. It's not our shit. Well, I do. And, think, and, and, mm. Just let me well, go. No, and, and, no, 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 no. I'm, 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 no, fuck ahead. that. Because what you just said just pissed me the fuck off. Like <laughs> yeah. I, I don't give a fuck that, that a black man produced this. So let's show reverence because a black man produced it. No, this is not our shit. We are borrowing this shit so we can give it back to these niggas. So next year, when when they produce their show that they want to produce again, we're good. Because guess what? In 10 years, if we keep doing the same thing, it's going to be another Oscar so white. And then the next year, it's going to be another Oscar so black. It's a fucking cyclical thing. Like, they just give us a little crumbs and we're like, yeah, we made it. No, nigga. We need our own shit. We need to do our own shit. Let's just be our own shit, do our own shit, run our own shit, show reverence to our own shit, yep. back our own shit, do our own shit, so Secure we don't give a fuck our what happens. So no matter what the fuck happens, yeah. we are good. Yo, I definitely think that when you, uh, first of all, you know you drink it because he ain't saying, nah, points. fuck that. Nah, he fuck only, all that. He only, he only bro, the elbows. Nah, nah, no, fuck bro, what you no. think about. Fuck what you said. No, bro, Yo, when Jake gets strong I elbow, feel, he's I real. I passionate nah. about this so, shit, bro. But you get so, strong elbow. So with <laughs> no, because we need to do better, man. So with that. All right, all right, all right. So what was the next topic? Cause uh, we, we got a we got a bunch of shit to talk about. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna hold you. I love y'all brothers daily. Y'all got me a little flustered in that last segment. I'm like not gonna the hold tequila you. got you flustered. No. Fuck, don't blame me for what? your. Nah, fuck that. I mean, but <laughs> nigga, like he was doing. What's that? Uh, what's that dance? <laughs> um, the Wu Tang. <laughs> Wu Tang. <laughs> you say fuck that. Fuck. Listen, let's do it. I, I I will say I will say shit like that gets me in my bag. I just want to see us win. Like, that's, that's all it is. It comes from a good place. I just want to see us win consistently, and fuck them. But I want to see us win. Niggas are going to win when niggas start honoring what niggas do. But you I got something that we would honor if it became a thing. Oh, my God. Male contraceptives. What? Let's talk about it. <laughs> 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 Ooh, baby. Yo, so 
Science is progressing. Shout out to science. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's becoming a thing. They're now testing it on animals. You, you see what I'm saying? Finally, um, science did something for us and not for... But a, a, a male birth control <laughs> <What>? pill... What? <laughs> yo, a male birth control pill <laughs> he didn't is... See it. He didn't see it. <laughs> I missed that. I'm trying to keep the show going. Go ahead. I said, Father, you said something for us and not something for... <laughs> so I was like, what? I'm not agreeing with that. Joke. <laughs> I, I just, that's why I, I that's canceled what? this side of the room. <laughs> Yo, look, look. Canceled me. That's me saying that, you know, as I said before, no disrespect, but, you know, certain things are natural, certain things are not natural. And science has made it possible that... You know, a lot of this could go on. No, but I'm, we're, we're not respect. even talking about that right now with the so, science. We, so now we talk, science has done something. We talking that about we want. for literally. There's now a pill that men can take that would kill the sperm. Finally, that you can just shoot up the club all you want, and there's no babies. Come on now, uh, yeah. Now, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. So most will. It's on the way, fellas. How do we feel about it? It's I on can't the way. wait to not pull out of you. I can't wait Keep going. to not pull out of you. Okay, I can't, I can't wait. wait. I can't wait. I can't. I can't wait. 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 Hold it. I'm a nut. Can't everywhere. Everywhere. But everywhere is gonna be inside of yo. I can't wait. Everywhere inside of yo. God damn it. Can't. I, I'm a, a b- shoot the club, shoot the club, <laughs> shoot it, the club, shoot, shoot the club, shoot, shoot, shoot the club. Bow, nah, but for real, bro, they they about to make a whole pill that we can take. I can't wait to cut that. I'm saying a whole pill that right, we can so, take. So here's a here how I feel about that, right? What's up? So, um, I oh, this is gonna sound left when I say it at first. I can't wait. Um. We wear condoms for two reasons. Who? No, I'm joking. Right? <laughs> Who? Who the fuck? No. Well, do we? <laughs> when you say we, when you take, <laughs> <laughs> what say? take you, the me out say, of it. When you say condom. <laughs> Said, when you say we, take the sure. me out of the we. The nigga R. Kelly said by teenager. <laughs> <laughs> what do we mean? When you say teenage. Like, what do you Yo, mean? What that is mean? wicked, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Is it bad that I understood? Like, no, <laughs> nigga. That's nah, terrible. Uh, all right, I'm biased. Wow. I understood. I understood. <laughs> okay, keep going. Keep Go going. Because Go y'all, y'all niggas right. is wilding. <laughs> take, take the me out of the we. Um, I mean, when you say so, teenage. So, so, so. So we wear condoms for two reasons, right? <laughs> We mainly wear condoms for um, to uh, retain from uh, getting people pregnant mm-hmm. and also from STDs, right? Yes, yes. And, you know, but in my No, my I opinion, don't know. No, my no, my no, opinion, no. The, the, the getting people pregnant aspect yeah. weighs way more heavier than the STD aspect, right? In my opinion. For me... I okay, so if there's only can, two choices on Earth, I was just Earth, gonna say, can we, can we wait real? Can, can yes, we deep yes, dive? We that? Wanna, you want to one into it? No, I'm I'm a, I want to deep dive this concept. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not, because hey, I've never heard another person say it other than me on the show. I'm not a deep dive. I'm not deep dive. Most of these, we can because of science, we can handle. Okay, uh, can't get rid of or, uh, so that's why we okay. still I understand. Do science. I, I understand. Yes, but also, also <laughs> we can handle some. We can't, <laughs> but we can handle. Now I'm saying it's not coming around like that. But the chances of getting somebody shot up and prego and attached okay. to you, that's also just as high as these, wow. right? Of get, as getting these, this is just as high. So let's say one out of five. Actually, this is higher. By far. I, I'm, I, I, my fault. My fault. I, I, was, my just, fault. I, was, I was just my about bad. to correct this you. This is higher because let's say Pregnancy this is, is way higher. about the amount of people that you mess with. Yes. This is the about... The amount of times that you ejaculate. Yes. Okay. So this is this is way more of a bigger deal to me. I wear condoms primarily, yes, to protect myself from you nasty hoes. But to not uh, have but babies. But to not get babies, and not just not to have babies. For those, you know, oh, let's not kill them. Let's keep the, you know, I get it. Is not to be attached to someone who I. You ain't want no baby want with this heifer. I get it. Attached to. We get it. We get for it for the rest of my life. So, but but so, I want to say you're, but I'm gonna say we're. Um. So 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 men, can we just yeah, men men, men uh, we're statement. we're we're willing to risk STDs. You know what I'm saying? Over baby, like if we had to choose, that's why I say if you if you wanted to it, you're right. 
But I'm just saying. Okay, I, I get the question. My bad. Bad question. question. Terrible question. So it's pretty much if, if, question. If, if you had two choices, he asked on it already. Earth, yeah, if you had two choices, I was trying to say way back. Only two. One or the other. Have a baby, have an STD. Well, no. Have a baby, get an STD. No, now, now before he says depends that's on the STD, only, that's your only but we talking to him. He's going to say depends on the STD. Carry, carry, carry out mine. Carry out There's only two of them that I don't want. The big A. The big A. Yeah, I'm on with the big A. And the, and but the I don't even runs. think niggas get that, no. Most people that got COVID and they got AIDS. Well, no, but, but there's a pill for it now. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no pill for COVID. Facts. Then I just really want the, uh, don't want to get the, <laughs> the, the, the peas. What's the peas? The... <laughs> How, well, how how Jamaicans would say it? Man, I want the herpy. <laughs> the herpy. The herpy. No, I catch the herpy. It's in here. No, because that should keep flaring up. That's no, but you call it the peas, though? That's interesting. What? Hey, bro, same thing, bro. Okay, no, nah, just, it just fucked with my head. I was like, I was trying to figure out what I was like. Platypus. Perpetual. And they said chlamydia don't start with a pea. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm like, per- part of gonorrhea don't gonorrhea even. Gonorrhea don't start with a pea. Like, <laughs> the plap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, so, so personally, <laughs> and 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 Sorry, you could, you know, for the most part, most of the time, sometimes you kind of, you know, saying when it's flared up, you can see that thing. But I don't. I male consciousness. You want to know what I thought about doing? And I was playing ball three so, years. ago. Wait, I'm, I'm so sorry. So you pick ago. any STD over having a baby as long Never as it's not any STD. Her- herpes. You know, you know who, okay. No, but I, I, just to clear that up. Yeah. Because yeah. you went into your playing ball story, which I want to yes. listen to. Yeah. So, so, so for the basics, right? For the basics that so we could no probably AIDS, get rid of. So no herpes. So for the basics that we could get rid of, right? So any I'll, other STD you willing to catch other than having a baby? the basics that we can get rid of. <laughs> You're not going to let me spin this narrative. I'm with it. Nah. You, <laughs> hey, ain't going to Fox not, News me. <laughs> <laughs> not today. <laughs> You're not going to bother me. <laughs> what are you talking about? I ain't going to um, argue with you. I ain't going to no. argue with you, no. You don't. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> Just to finish that Yeah, part, for the sorry. ones that, for the STDs that we can get rid of and handle, you know what I'm saying? Gotta I'm going to go man. ahead and I would rather... <laughs> attract that, handle that, then to have to get some not even to have a baby, then to get someone to pregnant attached to somebody. Then to get someone pregnant who I am unsure of. And I know a mm. lot of people are gonna run with it and say, well you shouldn't be having unprotected sex. But I hate that narrative. I'm not even bro, try, I, I don't even want to hold on. I'm I not I'm not gonna narrative. dignify y'all. We're not gonna get into that. You feel me? Um, I hate that narrative because it's not realistic. And yeah, it's not, it's not, it's really, not realistic. And, and I hear that yeah, yeah, so, you want to be holier than thou. It doesn't and, fucking and, work. And but I there's going to be a time. You, I promise you. It don't work that I way. Do, I, I do my positive best. Because since you busted it wide open for a nigga that you don't see you marrying either. Oh, like, let me run it back. Me and my guys have a group chat right now. Okay. It's about nine of us. Group <laughs> chats it. called Squid Games, right? We've had this conversation twice in the past four months. Why is it called Squid Games? We you made saw it. my face. My fat. I'm when sorry. Squid Games was lit. Okay, got That was a great idea. <laughs> I was like, what? We put one of the Squid Games It did not age well. At the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> that shit aged terribly. Like, he argued with my face. So, I was just like. So, 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 so look. <laughs> he say nothing. I was like, what uh, the fuck? Outside of y'all, <laughs> it's my Atlanta niggas that I love, right? All right, cool. We, um, we were having this conversation, Thanks. and some of my guys, they don't be strapping up. At all, they Most fight. of my guys don't be strapping up like that, unless it's with a, a for nobody, a random. Like yeah, if it's yeah, a yeah. one night random, mm-hmm. they'll throw it on. But even then, it might be a ha. Ah, it's a fight. It's a battle. It's internal you know what I'm struggle. So niggas so, really be taking chances so with our lives. Here, where it gets wild. Now okay. we already know that men naturally we're risk takers, right? We are way more risk takers. No, it's true. <laughs> uh, yo, <laughs> can we just be honest? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 Mm-hmm. I would act like I don't even, I don't have it on me, got the Jimmy on me, yeah. right? But I, and act like I'm about to go in, and there's no reaction. Mm-hmm. Sure, he's not slowing me down, not stopping me. My guys have been like, yo, boom. Women are not asking, most women are not asking men to put condoms on. They're not asking men to put condoms on. They're not stopping men. They're not saying, where's it at? And even if a guy, they, they might ask the question, yo, where's the condom? And but he's like, <laughs> right? No, no, yeah, then, yeah. then no, and he's then, like, uh, and then, then what? What? what when happened? he goes, in, goes ahead and like, 
it's cool. You trust me? Let me just go ahead. You trust me? Uh, you trust and me? she no, just let it rock fact. out. So now, hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Hold it down. So now I'm men, teaching my daughter like, about all you niggas. Men are like, I can't <laughs> all listen, you what? niggas. I'm showing my nieces this episode right now. I got yeah. one that's 20 and I got one that's six. She's right. learning. Mm. Women are not telling men to put condoms on. Not like that. So who's more? Come on, Willow Wednesday's topics. No, okay, no, wait, so wait, wait, wait. no, no, I'm fucking. Oh wait, with let you. me clear my thing up. I act like I don't, but I put it on. Why? Because I'm afraid of y'all, okay? We get it. Once y'all get pregnant, I lose control. I'm not a control freak, Mind but you, I like n- to have a No sex. loss of control if you got gonorrhea. Okay, I like to have a... <laughs> huh, yeah. If I got gonorrhea, I choose how long I want to have it, okay? I choose when I want to get rid of it. funny, gonorrhea. but I, it, it makes sense. I get it, it too, sense. but it's how just long it's like, I want my pee to be hot, okay? Me. <laughs> <laughs> my choice. But, but when you talk you about pregnant, 18 years but when, versus longer, a couple of rough it's weeks. Longer, it's longer, longer, it's longer, it's longer, it's longer than 18 years. When you get God, damn, pregnant, right? The man, I can't tell you to get rid of that thing. You I can't. You can make, tell him. I can't. I can't <laughs> but you can say what no you No matter want. what I say, it's all up to you. And let's say you don't want to do it. I am stuck with that decision that you have made. Yeah. And I got a nice segue to another topic we're going to talk about next week. How the fuck you segue for a week? <laughs> what yeah. the fuck is I got a nice You know topic. how long that alley oop is? On the 6th <laughs> it's of August. the longest. <laughs> that alley oop started on Here's Monday. The question we're going to answer it. Should men, if they l- legally say that they do not want to have nothing to do with the child once the woman is pregnant, but the woman wants to keep the child, mm-hmm. that is a decision. We're going to talk man. about that next week. <laughs> we're, go- we're going yeah, to talk I got about too much. that. Next Are y'all going to trust me from now on? We're going to talk about that next week. But no, either way, time. though. But I forgot where we was at. I had, I had shit to so, talk about where we was at. Condoms. Ah, you lost right? your point. Oh. I'm wearing them because I don't trust them. This nigga talk too much. That's what it is. You just over talk to me. Only this one thing. This is no, bad. because I had something to say. And I'm I don't... Talk- I've been talking about this one all my life. The okay? South has something to say, nigga. I keep condoms in my socks for you hoes. Mm. Boom, I got it back again. I got it. I got it. You sure? Yes. Okay. Who's more to blame? Yes, come on now. Yes. Who's more to blame? Women. For a condom not being applied. Is it the man or is it the woman? The person who's supposed to care more. That's that's a bullshit response. It's a horrible response. It's a terrible. I'm not I would I would never let that fly. Um, Alright, so so let's run so, that back though. Like, we're Let's three, run it back realistically. Yeah, we're three guys sitting at this, 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 this. We're this pretty platform. intelligent guys. What, what, Very right, intelligent. Who's, get, who's gonna? Who's more to blame? Right? Is is it the man who has it in his pocket and can easily use it whenever he wants to, but chooses not to, or is it the woman that doesn't say anything can but I, allows can, it to happen? Can I? Can I add? Let, 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 let's. I just want to fuck it up to make it more even. I want to say. She suggests. You should use a condom. And you say, I got one. You don't. That's low-key rape. Is it? No. Whoa. Yeah. That That's ain't rape. Whoa. We both Wait, just no, discussed. No, 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 You just dragged it. Here's the thing. Here's you the thing. dragged it. You dragged okay. it. It's, it's, you dragged it's like, it's like what Because about? what I'm saying is My we bad. both acknowledge that there's a condom in the room is what I'm trying to Bro, say. there's women mm-hmm. who've tried to D- pull it off. Right. Oh, God. Okay. All right. That's but, the extreme. That's the extreme. That wasn't in his analogy right now. That's the extreme. Yes. I said it that way because it's even. Because okay. it's one thing if you haven't at least suggested, because I do think it, this is my answer too, sorry. But I also think as a man, you should kind of be like, oh, it's tough to say. All right, so you should just be like, I mean, if you know. <laughs> I, 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 I think the responsibility, the responsibility uh, lies with us, 100,000%. To bring it up? You want, you want to know why? Yeah. Why? We're leaders. No, 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 <laughs> no. I'm, I'm not going to say that at all. I'm not going to say that at go all. Ahead, go ahead. Why? This, com- this, com- yeah. this conversation I want. I want this conversation. We get held liable for everything. Yeah, that's a fact. So yeah. if you don't want to pay child support, ah. if you don't want to... If you don't want to go through the courts, if, if, no, if you don't want to do any of that... Talk that talk, right. nigga. I think you should... You should have the the foresight, foresight vision with your foreskin, <laughs> with your foreskin, I mean, I foresight circumcised. with your foreskin, right? And be like, you know what? I'm going to put this hat on so I don't deal with that. Because what's going to happen is all she all she has to do in the eyes of the court is he's an ancient father, and it's over with. 
and your life is fucked. Yo, and I was av- having so a conversation with a, with a and woman. She, and she can have, like, it's 50-50, right? But in the court of the law, it's not 50-50. <sighs> but they know they got the you power. You did this to her. That's what the courts see. Right. You, you did this to this you innocent f- young lady. Fuck and now because you did that, you fricked her. You fricked you her good. came inside fricked of her. You fricked her good. And because you did that, now she's here in this court. She can't support herself she or the child. She can't get pregnant by Guess herself. What? It no, no, is no, no. your fault. It's real. And now as a man, you got to deal with because that. Because you, you, you cannot have this defense. But she wanted it, Judge. We she told about, me to do we it. We spoke about the she condom told me and we bust. both said no. I said I didn't even want to do that. I had a condom. She said yo, no. Bro, this yo, is crazy. That's yo, not going to hold up in court. Hold up you in court. That's crazy. a wild concept. That's you why don't do it, fellas. You want to know what's sick? I had a shorty you, that was messing with, with me, right? <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a shorty. Yo, Lamar's an asshole. <laughs> I had a shorty. <laughs> Joke's on you, bucko. <laughs> Not for long. Give me the shot. Give me the pill. Hey, where you got to put it? Hey, hey, hey. hey, 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 hey hit me at the top of the butt. It's all right. That's soft tissue. Listen, <laughs> not for long, but it was quick. Nah, that was not for long, bitch. <laughs> ah, so, you said it. Oh, Ooh, yes. that's cool. We Woo! got Willow, bro. We I'm had so you. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> he said the b word. I'm excited to stand get up him. and get you a cup. Nah, because you ain't nah, said it in a nah, minute. Nah, what's in there? What's in there? Nah, 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 nah. It's straight. It's already straight. It's already straight. You know what you got to do? Wow. Are we we serious right now? Are we serious? What? This is a big deal. (laughs) This is a very... Hey, hey, so go out um, by by the the, uh, microwave, by the fridge, in the corner, right? Wow. (laughs) All this for my shot. (laughs) All this for my shot, head ass. (laughs) All right, guys, so you already know the rules on this Will of Wednesday's podcast. You are not allowed to say that B word that b word is derogatory right we don't respect that here as men we try our best to respect our black women respect our women in general you guys are big deals in our hearts okay and sometimes because of our innate abilities what we've been bred it and taught especially growing up in the concrete jungle where that word is literally second nature right after the n-word the nigga that we love to spill out of our mouths on a daily basis but here at willow Wednesdays, we are trying our best and to keep us in line when we do make those slip-ups i've learned my lesson multiple times we pour the most disgusting russian vodka um, into a little cup, and you take that thing with no hesitation. So that's what you're going to see being administered right now to this young man. Thank you so much for tuning in. You're a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold on to this for I'm now. I'm not going to hold you, though, but that was like a pretty good like infomercial. <laughs> it was like, it, it, it Yo, spoke to everything. Hey, bro, if we don't, that? No, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> this nigga skipping, he happy. Hey. All right, all right. All right. All right, play. I'm excited to catch you because <laughs> you ain't been caught in a while. The play-by-play. Play, yeah. Right? So right now we have Mr. Damo. He's grabbing the Russian vodka. Hey, now. Right? What's the name of the vodka, Dame? It don't matter because I can't, can't pronounce, pronounce it. Pronounce. Goddamn. It's Shout the, out to Ukraine. <laughs> it's the... That's not a shot, bro. You wild. The bottle made it look really... Yeah, right, some more That's look. not a fucking shot. All right. Well, well it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> he is an alcoholic. <laughs> All right. Cup says fuel. Bro, that's a shot, my nigga. What the fuck is going on? Nah, fuck that, bro. Hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Heavy is the crown. Your last name, Willow. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy is the crown. This your show, fam. Hey, 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 hey. hey. One thing I need you to do. I need oh, you that do. was my show. Hey, look, hey, <laughs> yo, oh, yo. hey yo, 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 yo. This your hey, show, hey, baby. Hey, 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 my name isn't Lamar Willow. <laughs> Lamar will love. But listen, when you take the shot, I need you to hold the cup there for a little bit so we see gravity take its way. All it's right? been a minute. You've been In very five, good at this. Four, three, two, you one. You can do it. Giggity goo. Did he just. He just. Okay. Okay. I'm fucking with it. You made me take the shot away. That was some, <clears throat> actually, it's a very smooth Russian vodka, by the way. <laughs> that, that boy sniffing like he just took coke. <laughs> <laughs> he said. Now, you can put that cup away, nigga. <laughs> put this down. You done? What? Right, bro, so so we, we spoke about male contraceptives, right? Oh, oh it's a great idea, but ooh, point. Only reason why it's such a big deal for me. Catch gonorrhea is not kind of babies. 
we have to rapid fire these next couple. All right. Only reason why I'm saying the male contraceptive thing. We gonna rapid fire. I'm I'm cool. Rapid fire. For the male contraceptive, right? Before before male contraceptive, here's actually why I won't be using it, right? Um, Only because birth control technically has negative. I've seen it have negative effects to in women's bodies. In women, one hundred percent. Before you go there, according to the studies, um, the, the 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 fucking article that came out, there's no side effects. They 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 have a way because they're testing it in rats, which is weird. But that's I guess that's how they test how everything. We start right? everything. Um, it's a lot of th- women to be fucking rat dick. Even even <laughs> shut up. Even at a hundred percent, a hundred a hundred times the dose. <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> Even at a hundred times the dose, six dollars still get pussy. Ahead, there's no toxicity that was found. Okay. okay. So even at a hundred times the normal dose that would be mm-hmm. given to any human, there's been no toxicity found in in the animal studies. Heard you. Okay, all right, that's good. So they're, they're saying still, that this is like a hundred hundred thousand percent. All right, all right, so all that's great. But still, for me, I'm still gonna take my time before I run out and take it. Just mm-hmm. the same thing with the vaccine, um, only because they did the same studies. In my personal opinion, when it comes to Birth control. There's multiple different kind of birth controls for women. You got the IUD. You got the shot. You got the pill. Uh, you got the little thing that stays in your arm. All those different types of stuff. Weird. You got the pullout. You can't forget the pullout game. Nah, the, the pullout the pull is out. fine. All the pullout's been the things, best birth, birth control all those different things have since Dame was fucking right? fucking. You remember when wow. Dame was fucking fucking? Wow. That was before Dick. In like 1850s, he was before fucking Dicks? fucking. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, God Dick. was still just blessing people. You know, that's when that's when the world was in black and white. <laughs> it's immaculate like, conception. Because <laughs> col- color even. came in like 1970. So he lived in black and white. Like, he saw in black that and white. I think voted yeah. in black and white. Facts. So, like, look. Um, <laughs> all right. So, what I, my idea was, right? Three years ago, I was playing basketball, and I was like, yo. I feel like all your stories sound like I was playing basketball, and. I was going to put my <laughs> sperm in five sperm banks. I was going to put my sperm in five different sperm banks and get snipped. Cut. Three years ago? When I was. In 2019. Yo, wow. Wait, was this after your two? Was this after your two weeds? Uh, by the way, so 2018. I'm asking, 2018 was extremely. I be listening. Wild year. Oh, so you was active. Like was, I found, outside. I found like certain um, like people sent me certain videos of me at parties. You was being wilding. as Jamaican as possible. Yeah, you was wild. Whatever that means. You feel me? It means more than so two weeds. At the top of 2019, I was making a change. I was like, I need. To, I, I don't want to get nobody. You know what I'm saying? I remember going to a party with you and we was wailing and then I looked over like my right shoulder and you was making out with a random stranger uh, in the corner. Not this not this year. No, 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 no. Or this, no, the this year is, before no, that. This is, this or is the year before ago. that. This is years ago. Or the year before that. But I remember that shit. Like we was outside wailing. And Once I'm like, again. yo, why the fuck is LeBron? Who the fuck is that? And you was just going hey, to work. So I'm like, scared of babies, yo. not scared of mono. Women Mono comes they to be the mouth. Kissing you in public. I mean, but mono or stereo, does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. The point of this, the point of these discussions, right? Willow Wednesdays <laughs> is specifically <laughs> three I'm niggas. Fuck them up. <laughs> three niggas. Go you go, Chris. You go, Chris Rock. Me. Three niggas giving their four. Unapop- Don't leave one out. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck? Is- <laughs> three niggas. <laughs> Three niggas, three niggas, and special guests. <laughs> okay. Time time. okay, okay, okay. Right? At this point, Mar is a special guest. That's fucked nah, up. Four niggas well, giving, I mean, their, giving their unapologetic gotta, opinion on these topics, right? Yes. Whether it's about relationship topics or whether Whatever. it's about current events, that's social going on, events. Right? Yeah, yeah. Of and that is our goal: is to give diverse conversation starters, thought-provoking points, yes. and not just to give. Yes or no's because yes or no's is just following with the status quo. So if and you're not corny. getting thought provoking, if you're not getting thought provoking content from us, go ahead and leave a comment down below. But if there's something that you took from what we said today, there's something that you took from any one of our videos that really had you like, God damn, I didn't think about that shit like that. Don't hesitate. You know what I'm saying? Add your preference, add your view, add your comment right below. We appreciate the support here at Willow Wednesdays. We're going to keep rocking this shit out. You feel me? Catch us next week. So same in spot. closing, drop a like, drop a share, drop All a that. fucking comment. Tell your um, sister, tell your yeah, friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your cousin. Make tell sure your you go stream some good music. You feel Make me? Make sure you go listen to our previous you know shows. I mean? Make sure you do what the fuck you got to do. And if you don't, I'm going to know. Me? Slide in my DMs. You can do that, yeah. Slide in his DMs. Everyone slide in Lamar's he DMs. He got a brown cashmere have, sweater on, okay? Have, that shit is smooth as fuck. I have two girlfriends. Okay? He a got wife. a velour sweater on with his knees you okay out. You with know that? he's different. Holla at me. Man, he's. 
And we I got out. A side chick. Peace. Peace. Boom. Gangster. <laughs> Bow. Growl. Growl. Go growl. <laughs> Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.